muscle is meat, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they no, yeah, they're they, they're like bulky fucking animals, eight hundred pounds just, easy. They're just tanks of muscle. Yeah, they also don't give a fuck. No, if, they do not. No, they really don't. <laughs> if you're standing like next to a hill that's like eighty degrees up, like straight up, and you're like, oh. Well, I got this moose cornered. No, he'll just give no fucks right up that hill. It's yep. it's fucked. Oh god! <laughs> Tonight's the night we go again. That. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Turn on push to talk. Who is dying? Who's dying? Carson. Jesus, I thought I had push to talk. <laughs> nope. No. Just broke oh, my eardrums. Yeah, <laughs> I had to reinstall everything, so I reset it. Um... What do you think of this splash page? I like it. It's it's very different. I like I, it. You use like a you used a rock band or something font for the. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. That that like is a little weird, but I like it. <laughs> Um, it's it's either Guitar thing... Hero or Rock Band. I just can't. Honestly, it's, it's it looks more band. like DJ Hero to me. <laughs> it was just <clears throat> whatever I could find on this word art website that would turn it into a PNG for me. So. No, I get it. <laughs> it's, it's just like, ooh. <laughs> so my apologies, Scott, if I'm a little fucking tired. I, I was up That's at okay. I was up at four and I have to get up at four again tomorrow, so it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Yay, hunting! Oh man, it's so worth it though. It's so good, oh, yeah. it's so relaxing. Are Are you like staying in a cabin? Or no, we have we have a hunt camp from your house. No, no, we have a hunt camp. I just we came in tonight because I have this. So. Oh okay. It's good stuff though, man. Like, I was just relaxed, so just peaceful sitting in the woods today. I almost fell asleep and like. I got a message on the walkie and it makes like a terrible loud blah, 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 beforehand. Fucking scared the shit out of me. I almost fell out of my chair. <laughs> now let's. Anybody have a suggestion for combat music for today? Uh, I mean, I can hook you up. I got some playlists. I got a few options. As long as it's available on Fanburst. I don't know what that is. It's one of the D or Roll20 music things. Oh, okay. Although they have a surprisingly large amount, so... I, I, I feel like fan Fanburst is like a rhythm bot where it just pulls from YouTube videos. Probably. If you can get anything from The Witcher 3, I'll be good. Doesn't matter what. That's, I don't know if you guys can hear the music now, but that's what that is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, I'm good with it. Yeah, you're immortal or whatever. What's the name of the site you're using for uh, music? It's just a built-in Roll20 player. Oh. Yeah. Fan burst. <clears throat> just give him song titles, it has, it'll probably have them. Um, yep. Sum summoned Beast Battle. Your webcam broadcasting? Scott? Not right now. No, okay. not yet. Just Is that from Final Fantasy X? Yes. Yo, what oh, up, Garst? <clears throat> Hello. Hey, Garst. How you been? I've been pretty good. Pretty good. How's everybody else been? Tired. I got a five foot tall skeleton, so I'm pretty good. What? Uh, oh. Yeah, I got a plastic skeleton. Okay. Like for oh. Halloween, or yeah, should sure. I be phoning this in? A, an ABS <laughs> plastic skeleton? You're gonna phone that in? Like, phone into the invoice. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you guys seen? Oh, what is it called? Crap! I just lost the name. World Draft? No. Considering buying it so I can remake the world map in a way that looks awesome. What is this world draft? Let me see. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Wonder draft. 
Oh, Wonder That's Drift. Right. Still don't know. It just came out with early access. I've been paying attention to his development cycle because he's been posting it all to Reddit. And it looks sick. There is a subreddit for it if you go to r slash wonderdraft. It looks amazing. And they just released it early access like yesterday. I don't like early access. <laughs> early access is, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. I guess I it's situational. Play <laughs> it's situational and how good it is. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, right? If you feel like you're going to get enough playtime to value your money out of like the early access content that's out when you pay for it, then go ahead. My problem is more when a game is in early access for like four years, when it has like a good following. Well, this is a, a it's a it's a fantasy map maker. Yeah, it's more of a tool than a game, right? Yeah, so yeah. It's... yeah, it's a tool. Oh, oh God, I see Doomball explosion, Red Gate. I don't Juggernaut. see Juggernaut. Oh my God. Oh. Um... Yeah, the, the abilities. You should start clearing the chat beforehand. <laughs> well, I literally just yeah, finished. Dude. Yeah, I know, I got stuff you. like ten minutes ago, so I, just oh, I didn't have time. I and see once you started you guys doing in, that. I see you started doing that, so I just dropped it. And it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. Let's uh, go to this. Oh God, this seems fucking amazing. Alrighty, so when last we saw our heroes, uh, you guys had just finished your first round in the proving, and uh, you spent some time going around the city, uh, getting some odd jobs done. You were approached by one of the members of the Forces of Nature, a group of wood elves that were camping outside the city, and offered to join them for dinner. Um, which Praxlin took them up on and found that they may have a connection to a previous quest that you had been on. Um, Zelgius went and placed his order for his custom armor. And uh, Renfell surprisingly was able to pull off a second feat of ingenuity and was able to collect his winnings from the first match. Uh, after stealing yourselves and returning to the arena, you guys competed in your second match and again defeated your enemies without any of you falling. Uh, and we now join you all underneath the Colosseum, having just finished your second match. Uh, I kind of want to go see Myra if you guys. Uh... Yeah, I feel like we should go see Myra. I agree. Yeah. Alrighty. So, dusting yourselves off after your second arena match, uh, Korn, the arena organizer, enters and uh, says, uh, Congratulations, gentlemen. I am surprised to say that you have once again defeated your enemies handily. Uh, you will be required to return to the arena a bit early tomorrow around 10 a.m we do have another small orientation for you for the final match uh as it will require some tactics that we feel walking into as a surprise would be unfair to both teams um should be exciting however 10 a.m tomorrow morning sounds good Alrighty, okay. i bid you farewell and May Cord smile upon you. He leaves. Clearly already has. <laughs> so, where are you guys heading? I think we're going to go look for Amaya. Okay. Back in her suite. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean at the guild hall? I thought she had like a box office. 
Oh, okay. So you're going up to her box seat. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you make your way up through the stands to the VIP section, um, you can see, I think this is the first time you guys have actually made it up above the arena soon enough to see them changing it over. And you can see that the <clears throat> arena floor has been replaced. Um, all the blood and <laughs> missing tiles and pools of lava are gone. It's just clean sand once again, clean white sand. Uh, and you see them hauling out gigantic statues out into the, min the middle of the arena. Um, each one shaped like a different one of the gods that are represented within uh, Terrace Birth, including Kord, um, <clears throat> Talos, Pelor, and uh, Alexstrasza. As you approach the VIP boxes, you can see that there is a heavily armed pair of guards guarding the entryway. And as you approach, they say, Halt! What business have you here? Uh, we need to speak to our manager, Maya. He squints. Oh, you guys just swept the floor with forces of nature, didn't you? Aye, we did. Swept it right from underneath their feet, if you know what I'm saying. Well, <laughs> chuckles and gives you a small point, just kind of a wink. All right, then. Give me just a moment and clear it with Amaya, and uh, be right with you. One of them ducks back inside. About three minutes later, he returns. Says, "All right, um, this way." Amaya only has a moment, though, so make it quick. And he, they uh, guide you back through um, inside the VIP boxes. It's really just a set of boxed seats that are facing towards the arena that are closed in on three sides, um, divided into separate rooms. Um, he brings you down to, you know, the, the fourth door on the left and opens it. And inside you can see there's Amaya and a couple of other merchants from within the city. Um, no one that you recognize, but they are... Anyone fired. I recognize? I'll roll a history check. Uh. Okay. What's your passive perception? 14. Okay. Um, no one that you immediately identify. Uh, and they're all finally dressed. There's a table just to your right as you enter that's piled with uh, exotic fruits and various alcoholic beverages, including wines and whiskeys and brandies. Um, they're all laughing and chuckling and kind of talking amongst themselves. However, as soon as you enter, a uh, tall half elf at the back of the room turns and says, Oh my, gentlemen, we've been joined by Harmony of Discord. What To what do we owe the pleasure? We're just here to speak to Amaya. Of course, of course. Of co She's your manager, of course. Amaya! And Amaya's up at the front, kind of talking, and she sees you at the back, and she comes back to join you. She kind of ushers you over to a corner and shoes away the other merchants, and she says, Want an autograph? <laughs> a couple of them appear to be waiting to find out. Uh, but Amaya ushers them back and says, All right, um, what can I do for you here now? Anyone else first? Um, would you perhaps be able to bet on our behalf? since we're not able to your uh, position might be a bit more removed she she kind of <laughs> gambling on my own team what a that's such a she says loudly and then she leans into you and just goes we will talk about this at the guild hall tonight very well uh, um <laughs> of course that would be that's that's not something i can do um is there anything else i can do for you I'm going to give Amaya the other uh, 49 masks I have. Okay. And, uh, yeah. You'll probably be able to distribute these a little more easily than the children. <laughs> she she picks one up. She says, I saw a few rascals running around with these. I was wondering where they got them. 
This is fine work. If, uh. Uh, if you can supply some sort of uh, higher quality advertisements to be distributed around the city en masse, I would be able to put forward some gold to fund it. Well, anything you can do to help will, of course, be appreciated and put to good use. Um, let me see. She takes out a small paper notebook from her side with a small quill and flips through the pages and does some quick calculations in her head, counting on a couple of fingers. And says, I think for about 50 gold, I could probably scrounge up about 100 flyers, including distribution. Um, hold, hold, hold. Why are we paying for our own advertising? Isn't that your job? Well, yes, but that that's gathering together all the uh, city criers to announce it, getting performers to hand it out with their performances, getting stalls to post it. That's the legwork that's involved. Yeah, that I can take care of, and I am doing that. However, anything that you can do to help will, of course, expedite the process. I'm paying for a middleman. Uh, I'm also going to tell her where to go and get more masks made from the tinker that made them for me. Okay. She takes a so, few uh, notes about it in her notebook. I'll give her 50 gold. Okay. I'll throw her 30 gold. She nods. You better make it good. I assure you, all, every little bit helps. Alrighty. This on top of what I'm already doing should... Ensure some good bets tomorrow. Are you ready for it? Well, we have ori orientation early, so I guess we'll find out then. Hey. We were about to watch the uh, Occult Reckoning facing off against the Vindheim Phalanx. If you're interested in joining us, apparently, and she kind of gives a sneering look to the rest of the merchants in the room, my compatriots here wouldn't mind. I'll stay and watch. Of course they wouldn't mind. Anyone who wants to, who wouldn't want to revel in our glory would be a, a sad person indeed. You so see a couple of the more attractive females amongst them kind of giving... All of you, a small glance. <laughs> um, Not paying any attention to that. Garst, didn't... Weren't you going to go speak to your friends from Illyria Lyle more today? Yes, I believe that uh, they were going to pay us another visit at the guild hall. Or the, after... The uh, the events of today. But, uh, they're probably still watching the rest of the fights as well. So the rule was that we couldn't bet on our own team, right? Okay. I I think it was it, specifically it was any game you're involved in. I'm right. Gonna, I'm gonna look around instantly and look for a bookie. Any bookie that's still taking bets for the upcoming fight. Okay, uh, there's, you know, well, this yeah, this is the VIP section, so. Right, no, but, higher end. Zelgius is correct, it was, it was any contest that involved, you, you can gamble on the gauntlet. Okay. okay. Right. Sorry, I misinterpreted what you were saying. <laughs> it's because we already right. know cults are Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Metagaming. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, are you guys doing anything else before the next match? Then, um, what what time is it? Given that you guys just finished, it's probably about mm, by the time you're done going downstairs, coming back up, it's probably about two o'clock in the afternoon. Hmm. Uh. And then this is the... Is this the last fight of the day, or are there a couple more? This is the last fight in the Proving. Okay. After this fight, the gauntlet begins. Ooh. 
Well, Praxlin, I think uh, after this we should go check in with our friends. Well, your friends. The elves. Outside of town. Yeah. Agreed. Um, Are there any, like, couches in here with, like, a table in front of them? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to sit down in, like, the middle of it and kind of, like, rest my arms up and put my feet up on the table. Okay. I'm going to go stand by a balcony. I imagine there is one. Oh, of course. That's what I'm going to do, but, like, to the corner, like, all the way to the side. Okay. I'm going to go grab some whiskey. Yeah, I also want some festival. Well, yeah. Like I said, there's a there's a whole spread laid out right in the uh, VIP box. Right. So. Is it like classy food though? Because I want like garbage, like deep fried, like elephant. <laughs> What's the meat situation? <laughs> uh, any fine foods that you want are available. There's also a steward that's available to run and grab anything that they want that's not in the box. Ooh, I'm gonna make her go get me a tart. Okay. Is there a large plate of meat anywhere in the room? Yes. I will grab it. Okay. You're just taking the whole plate? The whole yes, plate. I'm going to eat from it. <laughs> right. All right. Anybody who's going to be watching the fight, uh, go ahead and make perception and insight checks. Going high on the insight. <laughs> fail on my perception. Holy shit. Yeah. I'll see if anyone wants to bet on me or bet with me in the box here on the fight. <laughs> Just a friendly Stop. friendly bet. Stop metagaming. <laughs> Is uh let's uh let's cut that out. <laughs> Alright. Uh so um Basically, uh, you guys watch as the two uh, groups step out onto the field, and um, as they begin to fight, the large statues of the four gods that were dominating the center of the arena um, come to life. And although they remain stationary, they attack and attempt to grab and throw any combatant that gets close to them. Um, the dwarven phalanx starts off strong by maintaining one side of the arena as their own and pushing back. Uh, some of the Occult Reckoning into the statues, and some of Occult Reckoning gets thrown across the arena pretty hard. Uh, they seem to stand back up, though. Um, the fight drags on a pretty long time, and then uh, you watch as Dex uh, unleashes a spell that... Let's see. Zelgius would recognize. Um, oh boy, what spell? He casts fear. Oh. It causes the dwarf to scatter. Uh, their phalanx is broken, and through some careful positioning, he's able to scare some of them into the statues, breaking them even further. And after that happens, the rest of the occult reckoning just picks them off by one by one. Uh, Praxlin. Hello. Uh, you do take note that one of occult reckoning appears to um, be utilizing a magic similar to Garst. Okay. Um, he seems particularly adept at healing. It's good to know. Uh, what race is he? Uh, he is... I'm sorry, she. Sorry. Or she, right. She is a half-elf. A half-elf, Okay. Do I notice any mind controlling or charming? Uh, what was your perception in this setting? Um, <clears throat> other than the fear spell, when you watch everyone scatter, you don't see anything in particular, no. Alrighty. Um, as soon as the last uh, member of the Dwarven Phalanx falls, uh, the crowd erupts into cheers, and you can see that red and purple seem to overtake the arena in colors as people start waving banners of occult reckoning. Um, and then you watch, as people realize what this means for the next match, you see banners of silver and purple overtake the crowd as well, as people that have arrived 
bearing your colors, begin to wave them in contrast. And the entire arena becomes this awash with purple, red, and silver as people begin chanting both of your team names. That's cool. It's a riot breakout. A riot <laughs> I'm going to try and make people notice me up here, standing over the balcony. Notice me. Make a performance check. Oh, oh shit. Oh. We're rolling horrible. Get that out of the way. <laughs> Unfortunately, you do draw your blazing swords, but everybody's going so mad, and there's so much motion amongst the crowd. And as you step up to do so, Karn steps out into the middle of the arena to begin his speech about the victory. Uh, you don't seem to catch anybody's attention except the people in your own box, who do look unappreciatively at your blazing swords, a couple of them asking, what, the, what exactly kind of blades are those? And they kind of start bombarding you with questions. I dodge all of them. <laughs> Spectacularly. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, after a while, the arena uh, dies down. And... Uh, you start to see that the arena gets reset. Um, they, you see a couple of cages on the side open up and large lizards get brought out onto the field in preparation for the gauntlet. I'm looking for... Shall we stay for the gauntlet, boys? Yeah, of course. I think I might take off. Well, Wait, is this, is this the last match of the gauntlet, or? Uh, that no, this is like the first match of the gauntlet. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. Praxlin. Yeah. Think think we should go visit our elf friends, or uh, you want to sit here and watch this? This is the one where they fight the animals. Yes. Okay, then, yeah, let's go to the elves. Okay, so you guys are taking off to the elves. What is everyone else doing? I want to try to get some merchant connections. Somebody who looks like they maybe work in more uh, like magic items. Okay. Um, go ahead and make a insight and persuasion check. Ooh, not good rolls. <laughs> yeah. Um, you spend some time talking, and you do make a couple of kind acquaintances, although most of them try to redirect your conversation to the fights. Um, you spend a little bit too long talking to a merchant that you could have sworn was going to end up saying that they were involved in magic items, but then turns out they mostly deal in fine foods. Um, not a waste. <laughs> Uh, however, um, you do manage to uh, garnish some positive vibes for your team amongst those in the box, and uh, you do kind of, you walk away with a good feeling even though you didn't get what you needed. Right on. Uh, Garst, what are you up to? Um, would I feel that Ciara and them are going to stick around and watch the gauntlet, or do you, or were they? Uh, were we? Did we specify that when we talked yesterday? They said they would stop by in the evening, so I, I imagine they'll be back after the primary harrowing festival events are done for the day. Okay. Um. Uh. I. I kind of want to see if I can find them and just uh, just enjoy the day with them uh, while everybody else goes and does some other things. Okay. Um, make an investigation check with advantage. Okay. 
yeah, about halfway through the first gauntlet match, um, you find them sitting amongst the crowd. Uh, and by then, one of the large lizards that was brought onto the field has already been defeated as a team of five combatants slowly closes in on the last remaining lizard. Um, you kind of sit around and enjoy the gauntlet matches as they go by. They're, the gauntlet matches seem to be a little bit less involved as far as the arena is concerned. Um, mm -hmm. And it's mostly just a collection of strange and exotic beasts that get dragged out. Um, you do note that as they fight, uh, clerics do seem to rush out and attempt to rescue as many of the animals as they can. Um, however, they are not protected by the same teleportation field that you guys are when you're fighting the Proving. Mm. So it all does happen out on the field. And sometimes they're fast enough and sometimes they're not. Um, but... So people die? <laughs> no, the, 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 the combatants survive. I'm talking about the animals. Oh, okay. The animals aren't protected by the same teleportation spells. Oh. Um, only the humanoid combatants are. So, uh, so yeah, you find uh, Ciara, Old Canny, Anders, and uh, Banor out amongst the crowd. And you kind of sit and enjoy the gauntlet with them. Yep. Um, Renfell, what are you doing? Uh, I'll stick around for like an hour doing mm -hmm. fanfare in the more higher income area of the arena. Okay. Just trying to get get some like higher income betting support. Uh, okay. Then I'm going to go try and find a tailor and try and find uh, like a three foot by like 40 foot long like purple just thick cloth. Uh, okay. And then if I can find that, I'm going to go to a bar, waste <coughs> it on brandy, tie that cloth around my neck, and go running around the streets. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, make a general charisma check for your stuff in the uh, high-end area. Nice. Okay. And then make an investigation check for your cloth. Okay, Damn. and make a performance check for streaking through the streets with a large purple banner around your neck. Okay, <laughs> alrighty. All so, wasted off of some wasted brandy. yeah. Okay, <laughs> so uh, Renfell, you spend an hour schmoozing it up with the local merchants and some of the nobles. Uh, you even run into one of the uh, council members that serves Lord Terrace. Um, and you are able to push forward a pretty good word for Harmony of Discord between showing off your blazing swords and doing some performances um, and sharing tales of how you arrived in Terrace first beforehand. Um, you garnish a lot of interest in Harmony Discord as a preferred winner um after leaving the arena you spend about a half an hour and quickly find a tailor just outside of core dries that's able to provide you with a large swath of purple cloth maybe not quite as long as you wanted but still long enough to do the job and then finding your way to the nearest tavern you basically in a purple streak from one end of the city to the other as as the evening bears on. Uh, yeah, just a massive pub crawl with me sprinting in between them. <laughs> exactly. Alrighty. Nice. Okay. And I'll end up at the guild hall uh, at later in the night. Okay. Alrighty. Um, Praxlin and Thok, are you guys walking together to uh, the the wood elf campsite i suppose so praxlin would you rather me hang back or no, 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 no. <laughs> all right yeah I'll, I'll just go with them okay 
uh, you guys make your way outside the city to uh, the Wood Elf encampment. And um, by now, the members of Force of Nature have returned. Uh, a couple of them have some new scars that have that same shiny look that wounds healed by divine magics get for a few days before they fade. Um, but other than that, they don't seem too worse for wear. Uh, the clerics beneath the Coliseum do their job well. And they are kind of, not necessarily sulking, but the celebratory feeling that was there the evening before seems to have dissipated a little bit, uh, given the sting to their ego that they just suffered. Um, seeing you approach, uh, Golmar <laughs> stands uh, from a log he was sitting on outside one of the tree tents and <laughs> raises a hand and says, uh, Praxlin! Yes. Oh, your your friend from the arena. Um, Thok. Thok. Right. Um, it's good to see you. You as well. Uh, you fight with honor and strength. More so than we were expecting, I think. <laughs> Thank you. You fight with great honor as well. <laughs> you did put up a good fight. Um, I, I'm glad you're here. Uh, your uh, your news yesterday of of our friends in the woods uh, has been troubling. I was wondering if you would be um, willing to tell us more of what you saw there. Um, certainly. Uh, my Compared to my companions, my experience is more limited, but I can share what I know. Um, you said that you saw you saw their encampment in the woods, and you were brought there by Blinky, and that um, there was darkness there. Yes. Um, and spiders. Yeah, big spiders. Large <laughs> webs. The spiders aren't that unusual. Um, by any, by, by any chance, did you find um, over near the scepter? I think we did. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I think. Renfell has that. Do, do you know? Wanna... Do you know Thog? Uh, I'm not sure. Can you tell us more about the scepter? Is it that basically big black one? I, I, I over the portal. Craxlin. I kick Craxlin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Golmar kind of raises an eyebrow and says, um, Ovenir has been obsessed for a while about finding a way to the spires she has an insane notion that if we can find the spires we can bring back the rest of the elves kept telling her we haven't been a member of the spire for generations there's no reason to go running off after the feywild she insisted she came back from the city about two months ago with a black scepter said that it was the key to finding a way to the spires. Well, I can tell you if she went into those woods, she did not find the spires. No, she certainly didn't. Well, that's distressing. Well, enough of this sullen news. You've defeated us in battle. We owe you a drink. Ah. <sighs> Um, I appreciate the, uh, gesture, uh, though I, I, I don't drink. I'll drink his, don't worry. Yes, please, if that's fine with you. Uh, I seem to remember you enjoy game, though, and he brings oh, forth, yes. like, a homage of venison that's been spit-roasted over a fire. <sighs> you Probably. know a way to a woodsman's heart. <laughs> 
Did you share with them your little treats? What treats? Oh, no, I have not. I, um... I feel like it would be a good night for that. No? Maybe. Don't, don't we have another fight in the morning? Uh, I mean, how long do they last? Not that long, but I'd rather be refreshed in the morning, not drained. AKA, you want to eat them tomorrow morning? <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, seems like something you would do. <laughs> uh, you may know me too well, or you may not know me at all. Uh, either way. Uh, yeah. I feel like they could use a little pick-me-up. You know what? Just for that alone, you're right. What was the dude's name? The big uh, dude? Golmar is the Golmar. barbarian. I would like to pull him aside. <laughs> and, um... Not say anything, but just give him a pound of overwort. A whole pound? <laughs> he raises an eyebrow and says, Well, you don't drink, but you do enjoy your substance. Oh, I mean, everybody has to have something. He gives an approving nod. Well, then we shall... We shall celebrate your victory. You guys spend the next couple of hours drinking and having fun with the wood elves outside of the city. Uh, what did you want to do, Zelgius, after you finish hobnobbing with the? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to Maya, and uh, I just kind of want to inquire about uh, setting up an interview, assuming we win tomorrow's match. Uh, with some sort of news publication. Yes. News publication. Um, let's see here. Um, she gives you a. She gives you a, a, a kind of a quizzical look and says, "I'm not entirely certain that we have a." designated news publication most books are too expensive to produce on mass like that um, however I can get you in touch with uh, the um, captain of the Lord's speech which uh, oversees the town criers that announce news throughout the city sure that'll work alright I'll see what I can do I, it'll be much easier to do if you win tomorrow, though. Yes. Well, I'll make sure of that. She gives you a... kind of a raised eyebrow. You know, this occult reckoning, they don't seem to, um... stick to their guns very much, as they say. Uh... The first match, I mainly used magic, and in the last one, I used my sword more. I think that'll be hard for them to nail down my tricks, at least. Well. I, I, what am I saying? You've defeated both of your opponent teams without losing a single man. You guys are clearly the favorite tomorrow. <laughs> You've made my job very easy. Right. Well. Take it easy. Don't have too much fun partying with your friends. And I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. Head back to the tavern or the guild. Alrighty. Um, Garst, uh, spending the evening watching the uh, gauntlet, you'd see a variety of creatures, everything from um, sand drakes and uh, strange flaming horses to large beasts that seem to be comprised mostly of stone. Um, as I said, it's because the arena doesn't need to turn over, they're able to do many more gauntlet matches in a single afternoon than they are proving matches. Um, and you're able to watch a couple of rounds of the gauntlet go by as the evening wears on. No clear favorite yet, because it's all based on the amount of time it takes to defeat their enemies. Um, but 
you see a odd assortment of creatures brought out. So. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm just kind of, you know, I'd, I'd like to say I'm like buying some, uh, some buying food and drinks for everybody. Just treating them while, while I'm hanging out. Okay. Uh, for five of you for the afternoon, yeah. probably about 10 gold pieces worth. Okay. Sounds good. And uh, they bid you farewell. They they say um, perhaps they'll join you back at the guild house tonight. They do have to return back to their inn first right. uh, to drop off some of the stuff that they bought today. And you see banners of harmony discord. And <laughs> seems that somewhere Ciara got her hands on one of those masks and is wearing it and just kind of. <laughs> They seem to be getting all in. They're all in on this one. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, you guys return to the guild hall in the evening. Um, is there any last minute things you want to do before we turn over to the next day? Um, do, we, do we meet up with uh, people from Illyrio? Uh, back at the guild house? If you want to, yeah, because they do stop by. Yeah, I, I, I do. Okay. <clears throat> um, at some point during the evening, you guys are gathered in the Guildhall Tavern, and you see um, the visitors from Illyrial enter. You see Canny doesn't appear to be as drunk as she was yesterday. Uh, she seems to have maintained herself a little bit better, although she's definitely enjoying herself. Um, you can see... Uh, Garst, you see Anders begin giving the room a wandering eye once again. Do I see Ciara wearing my mask? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you do. I'm gonna go over and start chatting with her. Okay. Uh, you approach. She's got that, you know, lavender skinned tiefling thing going on. Her horns curled up back to her head, and she's got the mask kind of perched on her face, with just tied with a light string across the back of her head. And then seeing you approach, she raises it up and gives you that, oh my gosh, it's you, look! Uh, um, yeah. She says, oh my god, I saw you out there! That was, um... You guys are destroying them out there! Well, <laughs> what can I say? The others do their share of the work, and I just try to, well, I try to do my thing without getting in their way. Right. I, the, the magic you used in the first match, that was, I've never seen anything like that. That was interesting. Oh, it's not terribly hard to learn. I could show you a thing or two if you want. I. Uh, you should you should rest for tomorrow. Perhaps if you guys win. <laughs> All right then. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to walk up behind Anders as he's kind of scouting the room and uh, wrap my arm around him and say, "Why don't I buy a drink?" Okay, do uh, Garst. Uh, uh, yeah. Sure, sure, Garst. Um, uh, we haven't we haven't really had a chance to talk, you and I, Anders. Uh, I Sounds think good. that was a good, as good a time as any, eh? Aye, yes, sure. Uh-huh. Um, oh, I would like to go up like on the opposite to... side of Anders. Okay. Uh, you guys approach the bar. I'll come from uh, behind. I'd like to sit him down before I sit down. Okay. <laughs> then uh, get a uh, uh, bartender, ale for me and my friend. Uh, uh, you know, the rather surly, swar uh, blah, swarthy... A uh, human male behind the bar, a little crop of black hair on top of his head, a little bit of ale stained down his white linen shirt, slides over two massive mugs of ale, and the small halfling kind of like struggles to pick it up and uh, looks up at you and says, Hey, um, thank you. You're very welcome. Now, uh, you know what you could do in return of my uh, wonderful gift here of, uh, you know, just allowing you and everyone to come and visit is uh, maybe, 
not peruse the place for some uh, pockets to lighten up, eh? He, uh, as you say this, he's like halfway through his first gulp of ale. And as you say, he kind of does the whole <laughs> the spring out across the bar top, foam across his little like red half mustache that goes across the top of his lip. And he goes, um, right. Uh, just, sure. just, just keep it out of the guilt, eh? You are a bit obvious, Anders. Um, Anders, would you like to see the sky? Would you like to see the city from the sky? Um, he, he looks up behind him, like, like arcing back, and he just sees, like, this big black and white dragonborn staring down at him from behind. He goes, um, Praxlin, I, um, I think I'll just sit here and drink. Is that okay? Okay. Oh, certainly. Just know that that is an option. I, <laughs> he leans over to Thok and goes, when did they get so terrifying? <laughs> I just uh, <laughs> clasp him on the shoulder and bring him in for like a little buddy hug and then order myself an ale. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Renfell returns at some point during all of this. Um, Renfell, go ahead and make me a constitution saving throw. Alrighty. Uh, he is able to walk on two feet. Nice. Not in a straight line, but he's able to walk on two feet. And he kind of, he's still dragging this long purple streamer that's got little <laughs> silver tassels on the end behind him. It's I was now, hoping you would be. <laughs> it's now gathered up like small bits of detritus from the street, small bits of waste, and like other colored banners from other teams just like wrapped up in it that were left on the side of the road. Uh, I walk into the bar and I <laughs> instantly look for Amaya. <laughs> uh, if she's anywhere visible. Make a... You know, you know what? Uh, yeah, she's there. She, you know, she's in the middle of doing some information brokering to try and get some guild members to help spread news tomorrow morning about your pending victory. Uh, oh, she yeah. sees you. She's in, the, she's in the middle of something, too. I, I instantly walk in. I point to her and say, you! From across the bar, I yell it. Hey, we've got business! <laughs> There's a minute. And I just start walking to the back of the building. There's a minute when every, every head turns, the, the bards stop playing music for a moment. And as you, as you come walking across the room, slowly the music starts back up. And as you approach, Amaya just goes, Renfell, what have you done to yourself? Yeah, good music. Good. Let's, let's go. I have gold. Uh, what exactly are you proposing? Um, mm. Uh, I keep walking towards the back of the office. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, she's down in the tavern. Like, she's down talking to guild members. Yeah, I know. Are there guards around her office at all? No, no. I just... Is it locked? Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll just, like, slump against the door and wait. <laughs> she... she... She nods to over to one of her assistants to kind of come keep watch at the door as she grabs you by the shoulder and picks you up into the office. What are you doing? What are the odds? Oh, the odds. Well, you guys have put on a pretty good show, so right now they're really only paying out about half. Well, I, I expected her to be... A bit more uh, <laughs> intimidating at first. Uh, there. I'll just throw her 300 gold. How much do you want if we win? She has it over. You know this is a risk. Oh, well, everything is a risk. I mean, we're risking 100,000 gold. 
Hey. I'll see what I can Plus, find. I already pulled some strings and I've already made quite a bit of chunk of change on this. So I'm good either way. All right, I'll take it. But if I can't find a way to do it successfully, I'm not going to do it. It's too big of a risk. All right. You going to charge me if you can't place that? Of course not. Good. My head of the guild house. Is there like a couch in here or somewhere? <laughs> She's got like, a few chairs. No couches. No like love seat size things? No. Just like chairs. This is a business office. It's the the floor. floor. Yeah. I'm just going <laughs> to walk out the room and then just find the nearest couch looking thing and lay on it for the rest of the night. There's several in front of the fireplace. Uh, so Renville comes back out and crashes into a sofa and almost immediately falls asleep. Has anyone noticed uh, renfell has been a little strange lately? Has he always been strange? Uh, a little bit more stranger than usual. He does seem to have an odd obsession with gold. That is strange. Well, I mean, I have an odd obsession with gold, but it's a little bit different with Renfell. I feel like he's changed recently. Yeah, he wasn't like this before. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I think we should just keep an eye. Yeah. If it gets any worse, then we should keep running, but for now, I think it's fine. So, um, unless there's something specific you want to address with those from Illyrial, they spend the evening with you, uh, having a few more drinks before they have to bid adieu to head back to their inn. I just want to go to my room. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay up long enough to see them all out, and then, uh, I don't have anything early in mind. Did I just get free drinks for my performances, or? Oh, uh... Probably, we'll say between people buying you drinks and not necessarily going to the highest end bars around, you spend a total of about six gold pieces to go on your drunken bender. All right. I'll just, I'll go up into my, you know, my nook. All right. I want to try to talk to Arangal. Okay. Uh, <laughs> make a make a charisma check. Strict charisma. Yep. Yikes. That's what we call a zell roll. Yep. Yeet. You spend a couple of hours focusing on your past visions with Arangal and kind of the things that happened with it. You're starting to get frustrated. You think about the implications that the relationship with Nora might have and how that might have impacted your life going forward and you hit almost a meditative state after a while um, but other than a few distant cackles and that dark voice in the back of your mind <laughs> you don't really develop a connection enough to get anything further Alright, so I just get pissed off and throw the dagger into the wall and go to sleep. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, does everybody else hit the hay for the night? Yep. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, with that, 
you wake in the next morning. Um, actually, wait a minute. Where is my thing here? Was I pickpocket by the all the pot? Pat, oh, pat, pat, pat. <laughs> How are you going to get pickpocketed? You ran around town without pants on. Pickpocketed. Uh, pocketed. Go pants on. I just had a giant purple cape. You said you were streaking through town. That was flavor added by the DM. Oh, I, I didn't mean streaking as in naked. I just meant like a streak. Like <laughs> he was running so fast. He was Fair, fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I realized the confusion. Um, go ahead and I'll make keep naked as headcanon in my mind. <laughs> make an investigation check. Um, you appear to have all your gold. Your weapons oh. appear to be in place. And my magical artifacts, of which I have many. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't take note of anything in particular missing. All right. I'll especially look for the hourglass. Oh, yeah. The hourglass you have well protected on your person uh, in a difficult to pickpocket place. So. All righty. So. Uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna give myself, uh, well, this time instead of two level one, uh, level ones, I'm gonna give myself one level, uh, second level, uh, cure wounds in the pocket watch. Oh, okay, cool. Um, we have to get there by ten. Good kind of pass out early but i was drinking what time do you think i woke up um i mean you you were out drinking but you're out drinking in the afternoon right so you weren't necessarily out late drinking and you did make it back pretty much around the same time that everybody else was uh falling asleep i'd say probably i only need the four hours of sleep as well yeah of course you do yeah so, you probably wake up around the same time as everyone else between sobering up and waking. Everybody wakes up around 7.30. All right. I'm, uh, I'll, I guess I'll announce to the group. Uh, I'm going to try and head up to a magic shop real quick if anyone else wants to go. Yes, I would like to come with you. I'll be waiting at the orientation. All right. Uh, real quick, before you guys leave, Amaya does approach the table. Um, and she says, um, well, folks, I have a good piece of news for you. Uh, oh. Is one of our opponents down? Um, no. No. Uh, well, you have an admirer out there amongst the crowd somewhere, and Ooh. they made a delivery to try and help out your chances tonight. Oh, is that so? Hi. Um, it's because of me. <laughs> well, uh, let me get it for you from my office just a moment. And she runs back upstairs, she comes back down, and she's carrying a finely crafted uh, heavy crossbow. Oh, shit. Ooh. <clears throat> she brings it down along with a, um, a pack, uh, a, a single quiver of, or a pack of bolts. About 40 of them. She puts them down on the table, and you can see that the, the heavy crossbow is um, inlaid with dwarven runes that go across the front of the bow. Um, and the string glints like silver. And the um, the stock is white marble. 
<laughs> oh, wow. Looks like somebody has a crush on old Geist here. I, I think I I think it might have come from the the Dwarven team. That would make a lot of sense. That's really cool if that's the case. Those guys are sick. They're pretty cool. Uh, she said, uh, I honestly wasn't awake when they delivered it. Uh, it was given to me this morning. Um, but all, all they said was to just give it to Harmony of Discord. So uh, I don't know who wants to use it. Uh, I don't know what it does. All I know is that it is a, um, it's a fine weapon. Well, I imagine if it's from the Dwarven team, we can guess who it's for. Gar, do you have interest in using it? Uh, well, I certainly could try. Um, you uh, seem to be a, a bit out of range for your current. Is weapon. that is that Vindheim craftsmanship, or is it the other one that Geist doesn't like? Uh, Kaelheim? No. Um. Uh. Gars, go ahead and make a blacksmithing check using oh, wisdom. Boy. Uh, yeah, uh, that is definitely a Vindheim make. Uh, I will, uh, I'll wear it proudly if no one else is going to, uh, reach, uh try out for it right now. Do you know how to use it? Well, I'm just I, gonna... I would like to, uh, I, would, I would like, I was gonna say, I'd like to see if I, uh, feel the need that, uh, there's anything magical about this or if it's just really fine craftsmanship. Uh, are you going to use Identify? I think, I, yeah, I'll use a, I'll just ritual cast identify. Okay, I'm so gonna. I, unfortunately, I have um, I have randomly generated this, so I'm gonna have to have you drop down to the DM's corner to tell Rip. you what it does. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Fifty fifty percent chance it sets off the thermal nuclear detonation and Geist insta dies. <laughs> Who already has ranged attacks? I have my magic, so... I have, I, I have magic, and I have my uh, tri-caster. Yeah, so the spell. only ones that don't have range, really, are me and Gars. I've got some range spells as well. Yeah. I mean, all of my shit's pretty much up close. You don't really need range when you move 9,000 feet a second, though. You're right. Fucking Dragon Ball Z instant fucking transmission. Just... <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. <laughs> How, however, if he doesn't like it, then, you know. Yeah. I've got to figure out when the next round is. What do you mean? As in, with my artifact, if I can use it this fight or not. Did you not roll Probably. days? Well, I... It's like every time I use it, I roll the days. Yeah, but how long ago did you use it? Oh, it's fine now. It's usable now. But it's like, is it going to be ready for the next fight? Oh, you're saying for the actual harrowing? Yeah. But it's a, it's a D3 roll or whatever, so you wouldn't know. Yeah. It's a D3 plus something. I'll have to... Yeah. No, it's not plus, actually. I think Yours isn't D3. plus. Mine's plus. Yeah, it's... But mine is just a D4, though. Yours is a little stronger, though, to be yeah. fair. Yeah. He just provides us the that fucking is. free long rest. Is it long rest or short rest? Short rest. Short rest, yeah. It's enough for me to get all my magic spells back, though. Yeah, no, I get, like, my money yeah, and my, and, like, yeah, my yeah, transformations can... back. It's all good. A second wind and a action surge back from that. Yeah. We're and also good. a uh, teleport. Oh, your uh, racial thing? Yeah. That's nice. Man, using a teleport twice in a match would be amazing. Ooh, I also get um my reckless charge back on a short rest, too. Yeah, so short rest is definitely very useful. I have to go see that uh, fucking tattoo guy again. I still haven't used any of mine. I haven't either. Man, that lightning was pretty good last yeah, round. Yeah, it kind of did so much damage. 
I kind of want to get that tattoo. Lightning is lightning bolt is what lightning and haste. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely about to drop 300 gold for two of those. Yeah, that's the thing, too. They're relatively cheap. Yeah, I mean, 300 gold isn't a small amount, but it's not, like, but crazy I mean, get expensive like, either. Yeah, you get, like, a haste scroll, and that's, like, what, 1,200 gold or something? Yeah, it's pretty good. And you can get them recharged later. Yeah, that too. Wait, Man, scrolls have... you can get recharged? No, 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 the tattoos. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you said you can come back and have them, like, redone. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> sounds like a good crossbow. <clears throat> All right, so, uh, uh, Amaya is kind of standing there watching, uh, Garf as he, uh, pulls out his crystal of, uh, Gren and pulls out his, uh, Warhammer and, bears forth the mark of Mord and that's emblazoned on it and he kind of uh, chants some dwarvic incantations for a moment you see both holy symbols glow and you see the crossbow bolt glow and then after a moment uh, Garst knows what the weapon does uh, well who does seem that whoever had uh, had this crafted definitely uh, I don't think that you fellas were wrong. I think they may had this with me in mind. It has quite some wonderful boons for those of the healing persuasion. Oh, that's good. I uh, believe that I can use this as a... Oh, the weapon, and then heal those around my, uh, my target. Interesting. Uh, very limited. Uh, there's a limited pool, I, I, but... Uh, Definitely seems like it could come handy in a pitch. But you can do that in the same motion that you shoot someone? Aye. Wow, that's uh, pretty good. Does, yeah. the, does the bolt heal, or is it just the, the bolt, area around the bolt? No, the uh, the bolt is a normal bolt. I can just use the uh, connection from the crossbow to channel from where the arrow ends up. So oh, it that's still good. uses one of your spells. Uh, no, it uses... There's a pool of healing imbued in the crossbow that re regenerates. Wow. I... <laughs> seems quite useful. It very much does seem useful. But at the so... same time, do you know how to use it? <laughs> I was, uh, just checking. <laughs> that seems very useful for people that might happen to be across the battlefield. Hello. Such as or up in the air. Yes, no, it's definitely... Definitely, uh, I, they might have been watching me and seen that I had some trouble keeping up. <laughs> so, in essence, you shoot someone and they are healed? No, I shoot, works. I shoot, basically, I could shoot the ground near you, and then, as long as you're within, a, uh, ten feet of the uh, arrow. I if see. I shoot you with the arrow, it would very much hurt. Or the bolt, uh, it, you, it you would may still wanna... hurt. You may want to practice with that a little bit. I might need to, yes. If you need help, I can help you. I might you know how to use it? Offer. Yeah, I, I know how to use all weapons. I know use a, I I believe... know how to use a light crossbow, but I'm sure a heavy crossbow isn't that difficult. Um, I'm going to ask Amaya... How many more days until the actual harrowing? Uh, she says, um, well, uh, after today's proving finals, uh, there's still a few days worth of the gauntlet. Um, I think they're supposed to be beginning to set up for the harrowing today. Um, I know that they brought in a ship from up north to bring in some of the um, creatures. That you'll be facing off in, in the challenges. There's always at least one creature challenge. Um, I happen to know how many days exactly. I, well, I was, she 
pulls out her notebook, checks the calendar. Uh, you'll have about, you'll probably have about two days of downtime between the end of the proving and the, the harrowing. Do I know in reference that when I use my hourglass, it takes up to four days to recharge, or is that like metagame? No, you know that. If you're attuned to it, you know it. So I'll... What do you guys think about this 50-50 chance? Well, if yeah. if we need it to advance, then use it. All right. Situational. I'm just worried that things could go south in like one one motion. Let's go listen to the orientation and see because learning more how this this match is going to work might tweak our judgment. Is the match right after the orientation? I assume so. Um, okay, I still want to try and hit up that magic shop really quick. Okay. I'm uh, still going... Sorry? I'm still going with him to that. Okay. Uh, let me do this here. I'll just, uh, I'll just follow along. What kind of items are you searching for specifically? I'm going to be looking for one of those fancy marbles that store spells. Ah. Are you talking about like a ring of spell storing? Yeah, I, I mean, in Critical Role, they had like a pearl. Oh, it's pearl of power. For like, yeah, for like one spell. Right. Like relatively cheaply. A cheap iron stone. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead and make an investigation check. Can you do it with advantage since we're all with them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, crit. Bro. Well, Ren fell again with the critical in the moment when he needed it. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, you head back to the Gilded Griffin, where the uh, golden dragonborn wearing white robes greets you at the door. Hello, how can I help you? Um, do you shed your scales at all? Just curious. <laughs> if he's anything like me, he doesn't. <laughs> she looks at Praxel and looks back at you and says, Um... Occasionally, uh, but not habitually. You sell them for quite a bit. Uh, they are pretty pointless, and they're fairly common, as there are many dragonborn in the city. Ah, damn. That would be pretty cool if you could just have a everlasting supply of gold on your skin. Anyways, <laughs> I'm looking for a pearl of power. Hey, um, I actually just got one in this morning. Convenient. Let me have a look. Um, it costs about three hundred and fifty gold pieces, and she pulls, she guides you over to a small glass case where there is a small blue pearl, uh, seated inside of the case on a little white silk pillow. Um, and uh, she picks it up and she said, "It's um, it's a fairly simple device." Uh, you speak the command word, which you can choose at your own leisure when you uh, buy it, and it will allow you to regain a minor spell slot, aka a spell slot of third level or lower. Okay. Hmm. I lean over to Renfo. You can get it for less. Yeah. Mm. I did think it was a bit expensive. Um, I'll, I'll lean over to Thok. Um, well, this didn't seem to pan out quite the way I wanted. Um, your connections with the guild that you're part of, uh, would they perhaps be able to get any specialized poisons that I might not be able to find in the open market? 
Well, I'd have to check. Um... We'll have to find out for the harrowing, I suppose. Alrighty. Um, yep. Uh, as you, uh... With that advice from Falk, I'll pass on the magic item. Okay. Alrighty. So, um, by now... Wait, after he passes up on it, can I uh-huh. just walk up and, um... I'll I'll give you uh, two hundred and fifty for it. It's uh, it's all right, but I think your price is a little steep. Make a persuasion check. Fuck. <laughs> She's going to smile and she says, "I believe I, you and your friends have been in here before. Um, here on the Gilded Rise, we do not barter." Yeah, whatever. I just walk away. Okay. So, you got a shipment this morning. Anything else interesting that might be of use in the arena today? Any rings, necklaces? Uh, let's see. Any jewelry, really? Um, well, we did get in this one ring. Um, it's a ring of resistance. Ooh. I think we're going to find out what it is now. It is a ring of fire resistance. That might be more useful for someone else. How much do you think you could use that? If, uh, if the Pearl of Power was outside your price range, I'm afraid that this might be even further. I was imagining as such. What's out of our price range and what we're willing to pay for something are two entirely different things. Well, this this the item costs something this item costs around nine hundred gold pieces. should be getting paid after this match anyways our contract with Amaya forget it this place is this place's prices are ridiculous and I just walk out oh there. I was meaning to ask are we getting paid after the proving or after the harrowing um you'll get paid for your gambling in the proving after the proving's done okay and, and then the, the prize prod is the harrowing right yeah the prize okay. prod for 100,000 is the, is the uh Heroin. Yeah. Uh, we might be able to come back later and see how much money we've gained from our winnings if we win. Alrighty. Alright, so you guys head over to the arena? Yeah. Alrighty. Um, we are going to take a... Oh, You're going to do what? I'll pick the sticks out of my fabric and wear it on the way. Oh, okay. All the stuff that it picked up when I was running around last night, I'll pick it <laughs> off and wear it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're going to take a break before we go to the arena, just because I don't know how long the arena fight's going to go on. I'm going to get a break while I can. Um, I also need to make an item card for Garst. So... Say ten twenty five. Sure. All right. See you guys then. See ya. Grab your cats back at it again. Oh yeah, always. Did he ever stop? I feel like I haven't heard it in a little while. Come on, Sheldon. I normally try to Sheldon. feed him. 
Yeah, I normally try to feed him before uh, game time starts, but today he was sleeping and wouldn't get up. So his food's sitting, and he won't come over here and eat it. Oh, shit. Yeah, no, he was um, a rescue. There was a local um, SPCA shelter that turned out to be getting run by a cat hoarder. And they had over 1,200 cats in the SPCA. Jesus. Holy shit. I tell, I'll tell you what, if we if we get to the point where we can ha- make our own Twitch emotes, I'm, I, I need a picture of your cat so I can make uh, an image of him like laying stretched out and just like a long meow chat bubble ahead of him. Cat starts meowing and that's just going to spam the chat. It'll be great. Uh, But because there were 1,200 cats and they had to like, basically all of the other local SPCAs had to take on a whole bunch of cats from there. The director of that facility had to get replaced. They had to like, it, it was a big, huge thing around here for a couple of weeks. Um, but long story short, they ended up naming all the cats in gigantic groups, like an entire group named after every character in the Sim- Simpsons and an entire group named after every character on game of Thrones. Well, Sheldon was from an entire group named after the big bang theory. So. <laughs> All right, your cat's not getting its own emote anymore. Big Bang Theory, <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, well, no, exactly. I didn't, I didn't pick the name. So I got you. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Bazinga. <laughs> Why didn't you get the cat that was from the the all the characters from Seinfeld and get you like Kramer? <laughs> Well, or the fucking soup Nazi. Again, I didn't really have a choice. Um, at the time, my wife was working at a um, pet daycare center that actually took on a collection of these cats. And Jeez. she fell in love with him while she was working there. And we ended up adopting and blah, 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 blah. So, again, I had very little say in this entire process. <laughs> I got you. Oh, my wife wants a cat, and I don't want a cat, so I guess they're going to compromise and get a cat. I, I I love cats. I don't really have a problem with it. It's fine. It's just... I, no, I, I got you. Say I'm, just, I'm just teased. <laughs> I'm not a cat person. I just... I don't mind them like I'll pet cats, but at the same time, I wouldn't, like... I don't want to clean a litter box, man. Yeah. I'd much, r- I'd much rather watch, walk a dog once, pick up one pile of shit, and be done for, like, you know... Half a day. Compounding tasks just kill me. Yeah, I don't like cats. And I have two. I don't mind them, I just... I just don't like them. Way more of a dog person. Well, the thing is, too, is like... If you don't pay attention to a cat, they're way more likely to come over and, like, try to get affection from you. And I just don't pay attention to cats, so they're always, like, fucking at me, and I'm like, meh. Yeah, so, fuck about that pearl of power, and I'm sitting here like, hat rod of the pack to keep it would have been a better choice. <laughs> I didn't I didn't buy it by the way. Ah, well then you're good. Rattle the Pact Keeper does the same thing and increases your spell casting DC. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Oh. Wait, what was it? It's Rod of the Pact Keeper. I have one. I don't know if you'll be getting one soon, considering I already have one, and that's like Rod of the Pact Keeper. Yeah, it's a warlock only item. Oh. Seems like it's something that would take up a hand. Yeah, but I mean, it's also something that you can kind of like have chained to your belt, grab it when you're casting your spell, and then dropping it. Oh, okay. I pretty much go into every fight with my hand crossbow in one hand and dagger in the other. Yeah, see, I have I have the uh, versatility that I use a two-handed sword, which I can hold on to with one hand, so if I go to cast, I can, you know, just grab something hanging off my belt and cast away.
Gus literally has health arrows now. <laughs> <laughs> Area of health arrows. The problem being, I am not proficient in martial range in weapons. Crossbows. Well, it's martial yes. ranged, yeah. And because it's ranged, it uses dex, and I have negative one dexterity. It's going to be a fun so, adventure. I mean... But just, I, just because you... Thing, the thing is, though, just because you miss doesn't mean your bolt doesn't land close. Yes. So... So, that it's a good thing that it does that. Um, because I feel like I'm going to miss a decent amount. But the other thing is that I didn't really get into it when we were covering it in character just because it's a, just another little thing. But he he made a point. To, he linked me the, the the generation thing, like the the tie the card for it, because he was like, "There's no way that anybody's gonna believe him." It gives me plus five channel divinity range too. <laughs> it's the most cleric weapon I've ever. Wow. Seen. Plus five feet or plus five tiles? Because like, is that twenty five feet or five? Plus feet? five feet. Just oh, plus okay. five feet. It's gonna say Christ. No, yeah, it brings my uh, my 40, 40 yard or forty foot range to freaking sixty five. Great. Now the cat finds the food. Of course. Garst, do you back? Yes. Okay, you got your item card? I Send do. Yes. Okay, that is not complete, though. Oops. I was working on that. Oh. <laughs> Oops. It will likely not be. Ooh, repeating attack. attack! Attack damage. That was a crispy pop can tab. Coffee porter. Mm. Craft beers. Okay. You know what? I did forget to forget to turn on my. Product. Is it an Indian pale ale? No, no, it's a coffee porter. Okay, well, I just, I don't know. I don't know what kind of brew that is. Dude, I, I just um, started drinking. It's called Sour Monkey by Victory. Yeah. Sour Monkey it's is so good. So good. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> is that an IPA? Um, I I, no, it's an ale. Oh, really? It's a, it's a 9.5% ale. Nice. It's really good. They come in oh, like big cans, they come in tall boys. Oh, yeah, I, I get bottles. It's like fourteen dollars for a six pack, though. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Worth every penny. Alrighty. Shit, I should pour myself a glass of scotch for this fight. <laughs> I'm gonna All take right. a big hit off this pen. Ooh. We all back and ready to go. I'm out of cartridges. Feels bad, man. Quick question. If yep. I'm to make an attack with a ranged weapon, mm -hmm. uh, it says you add your dexterity modifier to the damage. Does that mean that my bolt... Yeah, negative one, yes. Minus one? Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, it's clarifying. And because you're not proficient, it does not have a proficiency on the attack. So it's a minus one to your attack roll, too. Oh, yeah. I already got that. that was the... I just need to clarify that really quick. Yeah. Oh, it's right. a pilsner. That probably does taste pretty sweet. I'm more, I'm a bigger fan of pilsners and lagers than IPAs. Yeah, same. Alrighty. Um, for all ready to go. As you guys return to the arena, well before showtime, uh, the stands are empty and silent. As you. Make your way across to head down into the underbelly of the Colosseum. Um, greeted by Korn in the same meeting room when you first came for orientation. He, uh, as you all sit down behind you, enters um, 
Occult Reckoning. Uh, there is Dex wearing his... Seems to be the same black robes that you saw him wearing uh, when you met him on Illyrial. However, he's also wearing what looks like a fine set of studded le leather armor underneath. And if everybody else wants to, if everybody wants to roll a perception check to see what you yes. notice about the others. Eh. Oh wait, no, I have perception damage. That's right. Mm -hmm. Oh, Garst is not very perceptive today. <laughs> Garst is just marveling at this new crossbow he got. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out how to use it. You, know, you just hear me mumbling under my breath. How do you? How are you supposed to hold this darn thing? Okay, uh, behind Dex enters a short half-elven uh, half woman, uh, the same one that Praxon identified as a cleric uh, the day before. Um, she enters, uh, she's got a book at her side, and... Um, who got it, who got it, who got it? Thok and Praxon both identify that the mark on the book hanging at her side is that of Alexstrasza. Alex Strasbourg. The same god that Matthias worshipped. Oh. <clears throat> with, with, a, with a nine? What's that? that... Uh, our earlier one, I think, maybe? No, oh. Um, Braxton has advantage on perception check. Right. Because of his shield. Oh, and right, yes. Yeah, fucking lichen boy. Sheldon, is that necessary? That is an attack. It is necessary, <laughs> father. Just a moment. I'll be right back. Wow. Fucking wants attention since he's stuck talking. You're a cat. I got it. You're a cat. Dizzy-headed. Stupid cat. Okay. Um... <laughs> Sorry, he has a, he has an inner ear problem, so he's always dizzy. So whenever you try to pet him, all he does is spin in circles. <laughs> <laughs> if I had a web camera, I'd pick it up and show him to you. But unfortunately, all I have is my laptop camera. So, um, anyway, behind her enters a. Um, well, you can't really see him because he's wearing a full set of full plate armor. However, uh, he. You can tell by the shape of the armor that it is a dragonborn. Can I tell what color? Um, with a 20, uh, you catch a small glint of green scales underneath his armor as oh, he moves. Okay. Um, he, he doesn't have wings or anything? No, he is a wingless dragonborn. Gotcha. Um, behind him... Uh, enters a, an elf, uh, even shorter than the half elven woman, um, and he has a rapier hung low on his hip at his side, and he wears a black cloak similar to Dex. Uh, last is a human woman who enters, and she has a bow slung across her shoulder. Uh, they all enter. Dex uh, sits with them and then looks across the aisle at you guys and says, Hey. Hello. I saw your fight yesterday. That was impressive. Yeah, we watched yours. Yeah, it was a good one. I don't know uh, quite what to expect. He gives a wry smile. It's kind of the point. So I was gonna yawn loudly and like kind of lean back in his chair. Can we get this on with? Uh, Corn is going to uh, nod and step up to the podium. Hi. Well, uh, we are here today to explain to you the rules of today's arena. Um, it is a bit more complicated than any of the other arenas that we have used before. Uh, so we th thought it only fair to bring you in and explain it to you at least as much as we need to in order for you to understand what is going on. 
Um, so, and the wall behind him lights up with an image, uh, an illusory image of the arena. And uh, there is. Okay, wait a minute. We'll just do this because it's easier. Here we go. Uh, where are you guys? There you are. Ah, uh, yes, the black grid. Yep. Oh, so black. Can you guys see when I do that? No. Yes. Yep. Okay, good. Okay. okay. So. It's supposed to be like this we... weird trapezoidal angle. Oh, is it doing that again? Yep. Yes. Why is it doing that? I don't understand. I don't understand at all. I don't get it. When you're doing your dynamic lighting, are you holding alt or control or anything to like when you're setting up the I'm walls? Drawing, I draw a circle. That's that's really it. Uh, that might be snap doing. Um, when you use the draw shape, just hold like alt, I think. Yeah, I did. No, but just use like the the connect. Not that one. Sorry, not draw shape. The uh, use polygon line. Right. And just hold alt and kind of trace around it like slowly like this. And just keep clicking while holding. There's only one thing I didn't want you to see anyway. It's just annoying. Um, okay. Well, then let's fix that. I mean, just, just hold alt and literally trace around like the circle you want with the, the draw shape polygonal line. There you go. Is that better? Well, we can see everything now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Korn's going to begin explaining the match. And long story short, um, there are four colored gates that dominate the center of the arena. Uh, red, green, blue, and yellow. Around the outside of the arena, there are four altars. In the beginning of the match, uh, one person chosen at random from amongst those in the field will be designated as the Juggernaut. The Juggernaut will have... Here we go. There we go. On initiative count 20, a combatant is randomly selected to become the Juggernaut. The the combatant that chosen as the Juggernaut will have a plus two bonus on all damage rolls, a 10 foot increase to the movement speed, and 30 temporary hit points. If the temporary hit point pool is reduced to zero, the attacker that dealt the damage becomes the new Juggernaut, and the hit point pool resets to 30. A Juggernaut can designate an adjacent teammate as the Juggernaut, but when you move, when you move the Juggernaut in this way, the hit point pool does not reset. If the Doom Ball reaches the Juggernaut, it explodes dealing 86 fire damage to everybody within 30 feet. The Juggernaut, a new Juggernaut is then randomly selected and the Doom Ball reappears at a random pedestal on the outside of the arena. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Now, does it hurt the Juggernaut as well? It does. Okay. It hurts everyone. Okay. In the center of the arena, there are those four gates. Each of those gates does something if the Doom Ball moves through the gate. So, if the Doom Ball moves through the yellow gate, the Juggernaut's next damage roll deals an additional 2d6 lightning damage. If the Doom Ball moves through the red gate, all combatants within 15 feet of the Juggernaut take 1d10 fire damage. The green gate increases the Juggernaut's temporary hit point pool by 10. Oh, man. And the blue gate, the Juggernaut can choose to teleport to anywhere it can see within 60 feet. This is if the if the doom ball goes through the gate, right? Does the the damage and 
the teleport happen like immediately as the ball passes or is it like an action yeah when it happens that's when it occurs okay cool so yeah like with the blue one you have to choose to teleport when it happens otherwise you don't teleport so the juggernaut selection is randomly selected between all members of each team yep can a downed teammate be up with temporary hit points from being past the the jug or no? No. Okay. <laughs> I think that clears up pretty much every question that can come up. <laughs> um. Yeah. Any questions? <laughs> um. The only other thing I will say is that the gateways are thin and narrow enough that they do not provide cover in any way. And the Doom Ball uh, rolls an initiative each time it is created. Ooh. That was so, weird. Like yeah, that. the Doom Ball will have its own initiative count. And then if it ever explodes and a new one is generated, that new one will roll a new initiative. I think we're ready, boys. Yeah, I'm ready. How do we tell? I hope someone has a plan. I, I have a plan. Wait, wait, what are you saying, Renfro? How do we tell which pedestal the Doom Ball is going to be coming from? Uh, it's chosen it's randomly when it creates. So, so it I won't know. Instantly appears. Yeah, it'll appear at one of these pedestals. Hey, Scott, you want to uh, you want to hop down to DM's corner for a second? Sure. All right. So I'm thinking for our strategy, boys. Sure. We, we get the Juggernaut, and then we just try to, like, focus fire kill off one or two of their team at a time as long as we hold juggernaut um i could like i don't know if the ball follows in the air but i could probably like fly up and just have it stay in one spot if you want or like move it from above Ooh, that could be very strong well we do have a spellcaster a ranger and a cleric we have a ranger well they do i mean against us yeah yeah, no, I'm, I'm just... If we want the ball to kind of be at a play if Praxlin gets Jug, we can call that out if you think it's yeah. going to be a good idea. Because yeah, you can like, you can outmove that ball just being in the air unless it can fly. If it rolls, it's it's probably good, but... If it can fly, then, you know, whatever. We just have to deal with the fact that it can also fly. That does yes, effectively yeah. take you out of play, though. Yeah, but, I mean, I could also just have it be like... If it follows me from the ground while I'm up in the air, then uh, I could just Ooh. go over all the goals and everything and then just have it go through there on its own. Or, like, go over or, them and then have yeah, them up. Yeah, go over them, dive in, and make it explode on them. Well, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. you could also get it and then keep walking it back and forth through the green while you're flying in the air and just stack up disgusting hit points. Yeah. <laughs> come, come, come. Literally, literally. That's, I think that's the thing. If you get it, Prax, just start flying back and forth between green and just become it like unkillable. <laughs> <laughs> it's not destroyed when it goes through the gates. No. No. All right. Perfect. Okay. I'll get tell Scott to come back up. Hey, we're good. You can come up. <laughs> that's such that's such a douchebag strat. <laughs> I think oh, I missed man. that. You guys said I could come back, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah I, I was trying to. I, my pencil was out of reach, and I had to take off my headphones to grab it. Okay. You guys. Got all your tactical discussions done? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah. I think we the broke your part. encounter. <laughs> What's that? I I said, we, we, think we, yeah, we think we broke it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, let me get my shit in order for a second. Um, Watch, Dex is going to start with Jug. <laughs> Alrighty. Random. Let's say, yeah, it's just random, yeah. so I assume we made a rollable token with all our tokens on it or something. <laughs> uh, I could, but... I mean, it doesn't really matter. You just assign us a number, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. I would, I would just go one from ten, like, us be odds, them be evens, and then the order we roll an initiative when you roll it, that makes it super easy. Uh, let's do uh, Doom Ball. We got Zell. 
cracks. Garst. Thark. Renfell. Dex. Fara. Elfor. This will come in handy because if one of you guys fall, then I can just remove you from the rollable table too. Yeah. Leon and Orlina. Oh, I thought something was different. Somehow my uh, default search engine became Bing on Firefox. That's weird. That's very weird. That's very strange. That's the equivalent of your computer getting like AIDS, dude. <laughs> No shit. <laughs> Factory restore time. Let's just get out of here. Reinstall. Hey, Scott. Mm -hmm. and Drake and the chat brings up a good question. What happens if the uh, Doom Ball takes away the temporary hit points from the Juggernaut? Is it reassigned or like what happens with that? When the Doom Ball hits and explodes, right? So if the Doom Ball is ever adjacent to the Juggernaut, it explodes. The Juggernaut does benefit from the temporary hit points when it explodes. But regardless of whether or not the pool is depleted, as soon as it explodes, a new juggernaut is selected, the hit point pool is reset, and the and the uh, doom ball reappears. Gotcha. So if it explodes, it's like a total reset on the juggernaut. All right, cool. Okay. Alrighty. Um, after the. Uh, after the uh, demonstration, Corin kind of claps his hand. He says, well, if there are no further questions, uh, we're going to have you guys head to your team rooms and go set up the arena. I wish you all luck. And he uh, sweeps his blue robes behind him as he leaves the orientation chamber. Um, as you all get up to leave, Dex kind of gives you all a nod and says, good luck. Still going to win because I am... I'm still the best wizard there ever was. <laughs> and he walks out with a chuckle. When I joined these off. guys, they said you sucked. <laughs> uh, so. Had to throw that in there. Yep. <laughs> it was necessary. Yep. All right. Oh, wrong button. So, are you guys ready? Yeah, I guess. All right, let's have you guys announce out any preparatory spells or actions that you're going to take prior to entering the arena. I'm going to Crimson right. Okay. Aid at third level, same as uh, last time, so it's plus 10. All right, everybody gains tempor 10 temporary hit points. I'm going to... Um... Use my mask of many faces to disguise myself as uh, as Dex. What? Okay. <laughs> I, th I think somebody on our team would have been a better choice, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I'll cast Long Strider on Garst. Okay, Garst has plus ten foot movement speed. Wonderful. Um. Just, just as a note, can I, can I make it more effeminate? <laughs> <laughs> How much more? Uh, well, make a wisdom. Wisdom check. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm basically trying to make fun of them. If if, if Dex was a harem anime protagonist yes uh, <laughs> that is perfect for dex then uh that would be dex right now okay <laughs> good lord okay anyway any <laughs> anything else I want to. I want to walk up to Thok in his new disguise and just kind of pat him on the back really quick. We're not able to ready cast spells, are we? 
Um, really you matter. can announce, you can name spells that you're going to cast as the arena starts. Yeah. I want well, to, doesn't doesn't I really want, matter. I'll well just do it on my turn. <laughs> I want okay. to make eye contact with Thok. Mm-hmm. I want to say, I'll be praying for you after this fight. <laughs> okay. Oh, honey, don't you worry about me. I'm going to take my hand off of Thok. <laughs> Already, um, as you guys make your way down that familiar hallway towards the faint speck of light at the end, as you can hear the arena growing to a roar, um, you hear the voice of Corn as he announces out throughout the arena. And today, our proving finals: Harmony of Discord versus Occult Reckoning. Both teams have decimated their foes in their previous matches. Harmony of Discord without losing a man. And uh, Occult Reckoning having done so with great flair. Today, the, the clash of giants as these two teams face off in our deadliest arena yet. Doom Ball! And the crowd cheers. Um, as you step up to the gates, you can see the uh, four colored gates that are spread across the middle of the field um, and the pedestals at the sides as you each take your positions next to the gates. And we are going to roll initiative. Fuck me. Oh, wow. Well, it doesn't feel bad. I still beat Renfell with this plus five. <laughs> I've learned to appreciate every little blessing, including uh, having <laughs> having an initiative above zero. I'm the greatest wizard! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, dude. <laughs> Oopsies. There you go. Oh, there's no plot armor. We well, could very well lose. We almost lost our like trial match. <laughs> yeah. Very much so. I remember yeah. that night. And it was a lot of fun. Alright, so I would yeah. get the least amount of, least amount of gold on it. Um the Doom Ball Arena is the ball. Just throwing that out there. Wait, what? We can't see the picture anyway. Okay. Whoa. Oh, no, 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 we, we can't, it's there. Uh-oh, did I leave you guys old ones up? Yeah, my old one's up, but it's all right. Uh... I don't have a new one, so... My old one usually is up. There you go. I think that's everybody. And... Perfect. Oh man, there's three of us in nine initiative. Jesus. Wow, that is a lot. Okay. Alrighty. Let's get the music going. I mean, it's Doom Ball. We should definitely have Blitz Ball soundtrack playing. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they have it. Oh, they definitely do. They, they definitely do, don't they? Let's check, just because it, it's hilarious. Oh my god, they do have it. I'm going to start off using Jack Shot. <laughs> Take me to Xanarchin, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's so funny. That I'm sorry to it. Okay. Please make sure it's on loop. <laughs> oh, you don't need to loop the 30 minute version. <laughs> well, probably do actually. Okay, yes. so. Uh. 
Thok, you are up first. And before the arena even gets a chance to designate a juggernaut. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. I did not plan for this. Um... I'll move 30 feet. And... Oh, shit. Hey, real quick, um, just because I don't know and I've just been playing it normal, um, hand crossbow, the 30-foot mm -hmm. range and 120 extended, mm -hmm. so is that anything past 30 I have disadvantage on? Correct. Unless you have sharpshooter. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm just going to, uh, fire my special crossbow bolt. Okay. Right at that guy. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack roll. Oh! <laughs> wow. Okay. Fox uh, starting with the big plays. And you're firing at the guy in the front? Yep. Hits okay. them all. And yeah. 20 damage, too. Oh, God. Okay, so he takes 8 damage from your shot, right? Yes. Okay, and then everybody has to make a constitution saving throw. I uh, believe that's what it was. Did I write it down? Some... It's shatter. It is shatter. Yeah, it's, it's a level. It's a base level shatter. Um... Is the uh, the save or DC is that my spellcasting DC? No, it's fifteen. Oh, 15. even better. Okay, so uh, what order did I do that in? I did it in this order. So Elthor and Fara succeed. Everyone else fails, and it was twenty. It was. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a hefty roll there. Okay. Oh yeah, baby, and um. See, I, I'll use my bonus action to uh, to dash back to where I was. Yep, yeah, back there. I'll have my turn. Sorry, just telling you this, the this, damage. I, I never realized how much the Blitzball soundtrack reminds me of the Ape Escape music. <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> um, Ape Escape. Are, are they deafened if they fail as well? Uh, are they? Probably. That's, that's what you did in um, the bard fight anyway. Did I? I don't know, I just rolled with whatever you said. I don't know shit about shatter. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. It breaks, it breaks objects, not deafness. Oh, fuck. Yeah, sorry. I think I got that wrong last time, but it's not... It's not deafness. It's it, it breaks inorganic un uh, any non magical object that isn't being worn or carried takes damage if it's within the spell's area. So. Damn. Sorry. Useless. Okay. <laughs> uh, that'll bring it to the arena. So. Dex wow. is the juggernaut. Dex is the juggernaut. Didn't I call it? Did I not call it? It. Hey, I, I rolled it on the thing. Okay. I know. I'm. I'm just saying. I called it. Yeah, you rolled it on the thing, huh? I did. You rolled a zero. Uh, AKA. Plot states it has to be Zach Dex. <laughs> it's all right. It's just... These dice are loaded. Can you guys see that? Yep. Okay. Uh, see what? Dex is not right around him. The circle around oh, yeah. the juggernaut. Okay, that's how I'm going to be designating the juggernaut because it's easier to keep track of. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Um, that will bring it to Leon's turn. Okay. Uh, what? Oh. So he's going to use his bonus action. To begin to do that. And then he's going to move. Well, shit, Braxton, he's got you rivaled. What? Why? He's moving 80 feet in a single turn. <laughs> oh, shit. He's going to move to there. Okay. And then, check this here. Yep. Oh wait, he's hasted. What? He's hasted? Yeah. So, he's going to use his hasted action to cast Spiritual Weapon. And we're just going to go like this. He's an imposter. He's not really that fast. Uh, he's going to drop that there. And he's going to roll an attack against Thok, because Thok just shot that massive explosion at him. Oh, I have plus one to my AC. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's baby, a critical. One. So you take 12 points of damage as a shimmering sword appears above you and slices down into your shoulder. Now, question. Uh -huh. Um... If I use Hellish Rebuke, does that happen against the Spiritual Weapon? No. The Spiritual Weapon has no hit points. Okay, so if I use Hellish Rebuke, it happens against him, correct? Yes, but he has to be within range. Uh, it's 60 feet, so... Is it? It okay. is. Yep, okay. Alright, um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna cast Hellish Rebuke on that fuck. Um... Deck save, uh, 14 DC. Okay. Fails. And take 16 damage. Does, wow. uh... Fuck you, prick. Does your spiritual weapon get attacks of opportunity? No, it does not. Okay, because I've I played in a game where the DM, like, ruled it does. So, I was just asking. <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> no. <laughs> No, it takes a bonus action to control it, so it can't it can't attack when it's not my turn. Um, all right. Make sure I did everything that I wanted to do with that. Does he have to roll con saves for spiritual weapon, or is it just out? Uh, it's just out. Spiritual weapon's not a concentration right, okay. spell. Um, let's see. He did that. Wait, wait, he moved. Cast that. Cast that. So he still has an action. Yeah. He's going to cast... Wait, what well, well level spiritual weapon? Two. Damn it. Uh, this isn't... Well, it is. Without expending a spell shot. Yeah. Okay. So he's putting down darkness... Jesus Christ, there's a lot to that. Yep. 10, 20. Okay. 
Okay. Putting down darkness there, and it is rough terrain. Okay. Garst. Okay. Inky blackness all around you. Yeah. Uh... I'm gonna move. Oh, crap. Always oh, the wrong tool. there and then as my action i would like to cast at second level wait how, where did you move uh from hold on uh oh, it is it is terrain. yeah it's rough terrain so double move yeah. each square the darkness is rough terrain, so, so oh, that's 30 yeah. feet for you that's 30 feet uh, so you can move one square out of that spot yeah then that works as well okay. mm-hmm I will cast at first level uh, hold person on this fellow. So he has to beat a 14. Wisdom? Yes. Oh. People Every really time, don't want to get held person by me. <laughs> hold person is one of those. Uh, I will well not learn that spell. It'd be too I mean, spicy, dude. When it works, it really works. But when it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. Uh, bonus action? As a bonus action, uh, no. I don't, have, I don't have anything. I'll just end my turn there. Okay. Alrighty. The Doom Ball appears at the first pedestal and moves 30 feet towards Dex. Oh, here we go. Ten bonus hit points. Oopsies. Not quite. Or ten hit points. Diagonal movement won't make it past the gate. Yep. Okay. Uh, how do I get rid of this thing? Here we go. Okay, and then Dex's turn. Alrighty. Um, everybody can make a perception check just because. Hey. Okay, Zelgius and Praxlin realize that Dex has tears streaming down his face. Oh, God. That's uh, weird. We heard his feelings, guys. <laughs> Already. Uh, he really didn't lock, like Thok calling him effeminate. <laughs> hey, Scott, real quick. Um, yep. The uh, Mask of Many Faces, that doesn't uh -huh. use like, a bonus action or anything. I just do that whenever I want, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, no, it's still casting the spell Disguise Self. Oh, okay. You, can, you right. can just do it at, you can do it as often as you want, but you still have to cast the spell. Okay, alright. Okay. Um, where's he gonna go? He's gonna go... You upset him, Thok. <laughs> <laughs> he is going to use... Eldritch Blast. Go pussy. Oh, shit. DC 17. Okay, so it's a 120-foot line. Strikes both of you two. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he rolled so many ones. 
And, uh, here's the... He did roll a lot of ones. That's horrible. 96. Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. You take 17 points of lightning damage or half on a success, so... Uh, I took 8, correct? Eight. Yeah. And then... What else does Dex have up his sleeve? Uh, he's going to cast... Uh, actually, he can't see you because you're within the darkness. He can only see Garst. So... He's going to cast Hex on Garst. Oof. Okay. So I guess. Uh, it take. Well, does it take when you're sta standing in a square of rough terrain, moving out of it? Does it take extra movement or no? No. No, only moving through it. Uh, Scott, real quick, Hex, uh, you didn't pick an ability check for Garst. Oh, strength. Okay, well, Oof. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. So I'm gonna move over here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my curse on Leon. Okay. And I'm gonna smack him twice with my lightning sword. Okay, uh, make an attack roll. Okay, he's going to use Flicker. And... Oh, okay, it hits. Uh, wait, does it hit? No, it does not. I'm sorry, your first attack does not hit. He has a higher AC. What? 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 Do, do I hit him or not? I'm I'm just confused. You you missed, but he he rolled. Okay. He he, he cast the spell as you did it as a reaction. Oh, it misses. Yep, that one misses as well. Okay. She's just going to... Step up to there. Oh no, I'm sorry, not there. There you go. She's gonna step up to there. And she's going to fire at... Uh, Zelgius. Um... I assume that hits. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, it's going to be a week until I get my new armor, so. <laughs> you take uh, 10 points of damage, 6 piercing, and 4 radiant. Holy shit. What's the constitution say for? Uh, if you're a shape changer, okay. it forces you to return to your natural form. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Proxlin. This was designed against us. <laughs> What? It's not. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be Bullshit. fair, they do have an ally on their team that knows at least four of your capabilities. Well, not all of mine, I hope. Actually, he, should, he really shouldn't know have known any of Praxis shape changing. Yeah, all I had was some fucking. Curses. Well, they have been, They have been watching you fight in the arena. That's true, but I haven't That's transformed true. in these fights yeah, yet. You transformed in your last fight. The no, last. The oh, last. You did. Last second, right. The last thing you did in the arena was transform. <laughs> That's right. All right, we're all good. <laughs> uh, 
And then... It's fine. No, uh... Oh, wait a minute. Sorry. Um... You're within... What? Oh. Five additional damage from sneak attack on top of that because you're fighting Leon. Okay. Farah is going to... Let's see here. Yeah. Okay. And I don't think that hits... Yeah, no, he's too far away. Okay, so they all regain five hit points from Mass Healing Word. Already wasting spell slots because of that one arrow. <laughs> no reason to save spell slots in the arena. Okay. Uh, and then she is going to move. Okay, uh, Renfell. Remember, it's double movement through the first yeah. so I'm gonna three tiles. Here. And then... I will cast Lightning Bolt. Oh! BOOM! <laughs> oh. Wait, you can cast level three spells? It's my tattoo. Right? <laughs> Tasty. Okay. So it should hit four of them at least? Three. Well, it's a five foot wide beam. Yeah, it should yeah. hit three of them. It won't hit this guy. The, be the, the line's not going through him at all, dude. Look where the line's going on tiles. But it's five foot wide. Yeah, but it's got to hit his square. So, what about that? Uh, I can't. I that's can't not. It. That's not enough. I don't think it's possible to hit all of them, dude. Uh, touching that square, just saying. Uh, yeah, with a if you can draw a line and it touches the square, it's a five foot wide line. It's like not. It's barely touching the corner. I. Yeah. I it's still like five feet from that Re line. Reali realistically, if you're gonna if you're gonna side. say that, that's not a five foot beam. Yeah, it can't hit two well, tiles can, like this. That's the thing. I it's a five. Breathe. It's a five foot wide beam, though, dude. So it's only going like really. You should count it like four squares over, one square up, four squares over, one square up. So it, you don't have to deal with stuff like that. Is well, it? Well, realistically, it's two and a half feet on each side of the line. So. I mean, I can draw a line through them all right here. I'm just saying mechanically, because what, you, what you're what you doing there, it hits both of these squares. You're, you're basically casting a 10-foot wide beam, which kind of breaks. How, how, how far how far is the uh, distance? 100 feet. Yeah, he can do it. Even drawing the line through each spot, he can do it. Okay. I just did it. I, I just did no, it. No, I, I I get what you're doing, but what I'm saying is that's hitting a ten foot wide spot in a lot of sections. Well, no, I, I'm saying Lightning I just not perfectly straight. Well, not just that. I just took it and I did the cue with his character all the way through all of them, moving each square. You can do it. So, go ahead and uh, what was it? Roll the. Uh... It's a uh, dexterity save. Dexterity save. Uh. Uh, everybody except for Orlina, right? Pass. 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 And fit. Okay, how much damage? 29. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I forgot to get my lightning bolt before we came to the arena. <laughs> uh, okay, so 29 oh, and too. Fuck. 14. So... Let's... 
Okay. What else are you doing? That's it. That all right. All my movement. Okay. Let's check Elthor stuff here. There it is. Um. That's an action. Okay. Um, I guess Yep, he's going to dash to there and then he's going to use a bonus action too damn it i guess uh he's going to uh you're going to see a small flame come out from underneath his armor and it's going to roll an attack against uh renfell Eighteen plus one AC. That, that hits. You take eight points of fire damage as a small burst of flame shoots across the battlefield and strikes you. Okay, Praxlin. Hi. Um, I think I'm gonna move there and get out of there for like ten feet, and then. Mm -hmm. Uh, there is about 40 feet, so I'm just going to move in a straight line up to him. Okay. Uh, and then, then I'll just attack him a couple times. Okay. Okay, that hits. And second. Okay, he's going to use... Masterful footwork against your first attack. Cool. Um, what is it to use the tattoos? Is that an action or a bonus action? Uh, tattoos? Yeah. I think it depends it's, on the spell. Yeah, it's, it's just it, the spell. it's the same as the spell. So. Okay. Um, so the first attack misses, and the second attack misses. All right. Yeah. Then I. Yes, that's it. Okay. Actually, um, hang on, let me look at something real quick. Yeah, um, I'll use uh, mutual suffering on him. Okay. I'll uh, amplify it too. So I take two damage. And he's. So fucking cool. <laughs> he feels what I feel. Okay. I play dancing. Alrighty. Uh, fuck. Alright, so, um, fuck it. I'm going to reckless charge oh, right shit. into him. Okay. With a 22. Uh, hit. And... Oh my god, my sneak attack was horrible. Wait, no. Uh, it's 18 plus... Uh, let's see. 18 plus 9. 
So that's 27 points of damage. Okay. Plus 5, actually, hold on. Um, yeah, plus 5. So, 27, 32 points of damage, sorry. 22 points of damage? Yeah, plus 5. Oh, yeah, plus 5. To the tax damage roll. Right. Yep. Uh, and so yeah, damage. he falls unconscious. Fuck yeah. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, that's pretty good. And, uh, yeah, that'll end my turn. Okay. He's down. So that brings it to the ball's turn. Which is going to move... Thirty feet closer to Dex, and Dex has his temporary hit points go up by ten. Oh come on! It would have moved down before it moved over. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, we'll just just leave it at that. Uh, and then Gar's turn. Right. Well. I'm going to, I guess with my bonus action, I'm going to break out the the uh, the Preacher's Crossbow. Wait, he's down already? Jesus Christ. Dude, I did 32 points of damage plus 20 originally. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a wasted blood curse, but good job. <laughs> and uh, from that angle, I'm going to... Uh, take a shot. Wait, I need to. Crap, it's a ranged attack. I wonder if I can use. Hit the dead guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, that is a good point. Um, I'm also pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Two birds, one stone. Let's give this bad boy a try. I'm gonna well, try and shoot him. He'll, he's, he's, he's down. He's gonna have disadvantage on the shot as well. Gross. Yeah. Here, I was say, oh, he's gonna have disadvantage oh, on the attack. Shit. That's not good. That's not a good idea at all. Ah, uh, damn. You don't yeah, really use would... ranged weapons, so yeah, I forget. <laughs> Just let you know. I mean, yes. you could shoot the ground next to him and guarantee that the bolt stays close enough to heal everyone, but hitting him, if you miss, it might move too far away from Praxon. But Praxon hasn't taken any damage yet, so. You know, well, I'm... Just me and Zell. So if I miss at him, it'll land far enough away that it won't hit someone. Right, yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna try and hit him anyways. Okay. Disadvantage on the attack roll. Yep. Minus one. <laughs> the disadvantage did not hurt. Okay. So the crossbow, I mean, you are shooting at a downward angle because he's on the ground. So the crossbow mm -hmm. will land somewhere over here. Uh, if you so choose, you could try and heal Zelgius. Okay, yeah. I'll expend um, six points of healing from the pool. Okay. So Zelgius regains six hit points. All right. Anything else on your turn, there, Gross? Uh, no. That'll that'll be all. Okay. Uh, Dex's turn. Okay. AKA no. the loser. <laughs> <laughs> Big right. bitch. Already lost a teammate. I just want to say that, like, you know, I am like some anime protagonist dressed kind of like Dex, and I just took down his teammate. Yeah, Dex in a, like a schoolgirl outfit. <clears throat> does Dex have Super to give the, the ball spirit. a wide berth, or does that count as it meeting him? Because you said adjacent, so like, cause can he run past it or? Uh, no. If he if he's ever adjacent to it, it explodes. Okay. <laughs> you reckless charged the guy to take him out too. You didn't just fucking <laughs> run up him and just fucking, like haymakered him into the ground. You just decked him hard. 
looking like a female back to the other. <laughs> you lifted your skirt to not get to not trip over the hems of your dress. Man, Out of the smoke, just. Oh, some shit's about to happen. Yep. Uh, okay, so let's see here. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Uh. He's gonna get caught in it too, but that's fine. Okay. So. Um. Is it a spell? It is a magical effect. It is not a spell. Okay, so, uh... I love... That's his thunderclap. <laughs> yep. DC 17 con save? Yep. That's fucking ridiculous. Who is that against? Uh, everybody. everybody. Let's In go, boys. Looting L4. Big rolls. Wait, so it hit his own teammate? That's no already downed, rolls. right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> I only see big numbers being put up. Okay, so everybody takes five points of thunder damage and is deafened. You can repeat the save at the end of your turn. What is the deafened status of that? Uh, you can't hear anything, you also can't cast spells with the verbal component. Uh, we're just going to use that for now. Whoopsies. Am I immune from any further thunder damage because I'm already dead? Uh, no, because thunder damage is both vibrations of your body and the pain in your ears. It's more than just the sound. Hmm. Okay. Zogius. So if I use my attack to attack uh, the guy that's down, does that count as me extending my curse? Because considering he can't technically be slain, but he's still in the field. Um, We'll say if he teleports off the field, then yeah. Hit him. Uh, you have advantage because he's down, right? Yeah. Because he's prone? Yeah. Yeah, okay, so that hits. And it's two deaths he's saving gone. throws. So he is down. Okay, so with that, uh, hello, Elemental. Right. Uh, yes. We have our own ball now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's your attack. So I just spent a little bit looking HP. for Oh, elemental. that is a shitty HP roll for your elemental, though. Not really. It's higher than the average. Really? Oh, no, it's not. Did average is 41. Yeah. Elemental. Uh, do you want to slide him up to his... Oh, I guess... Do you want to just put him under me or leave him where he is at the bottom? Oh, if, he goes, uh... if he goes where he should be, he's, like, missing a turn, kind of, but... Right, where is he? Oh. Literally just goes uh, one up. Or do you just want him to go after me? Yeah, we'll just we'll just slide him into nine. Just make it easy to keep track of. Okay. Uh, so that was one attack. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um Yeah. I guess I'm just gonna move forward and try to use my other attack on this guy. Okay. And I can't roll for shit. Yeah. That does not hit. Uh, I'm going to tell the elemental to crush this dude. And my bonus action is going to be casting Hex on... Hey, does Hex have a verbal component? Yes. Can't cast it because you're deaf. Why can't I speak when I'm deaf? I'm not one of the dumb. One of the things about deafness is that you can't cast a spell with a verbal component. That's what deafening means. What? Wait, do you mean you're moving your Hexblade's curse? No, I can't do that yet. Does that apply to a tattoo? Tattoo doesn't have a verbal component, I don't believe. 
the spell, bro. All Deafen says in 5e is a Deafen creature can't hear and automatically fails any ability check that requires hearing. I, I don't... Most spells require the chanting of mystic words. The words themselves aren't the source of the spell's power, rather the particular combination of sounds with specific pitch and resonance sets the thread of magic in motion. Thus a character who is gagged or in an area of silence, blah, 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 blah. Oh, never mind. I thought I thought it was part of the verbal components. You are correct. Yeah, I was wondering, because that doesn't no. like... <laughs> Very good. Yeah, no, okay. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's if you're silenced, not deaf. Yeah, I'm going to cast Hex on uh, Healer back here. Okay. At fourth level. <laughs> Not that it really matters, but. Who, who are you casting at? I'm sorry. Uh, the cleric? Yeah. Okay. And I'm just going to tell my elemental to wail on the guy in front of me. Okay. So Elemental is going to step onto his own square. Uh -huh. uh, so he's going to take a d6 plus 2 lightning damage. Four lightning damage and two melee attacks. 25. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> okay. Um, 25 hits. Six bludgeon damage and another slam. 24. So 11 damage. Okay. 15 total. Sounds good. And that's Elemental's turn. With only one of you in range of an ally, she's going to attack towards Zelgius again. Oh shit, I forgot to take my healing for my curse expiring. <laughs> yep. Okay. I assume 25 hits. Oh yeah. Well, I pretty much negated my healing. Uh, you take 17 and you take 23 points of damage as a streaking silver arrow strikes you in the shoulder. Sorry, Hello. But... Sorry, I'm not being very good with the whole combat description thing. There's a lot I'm keeping track of, so. Uh, and then... How far away are you guys? Yeah, she's going to move to here. Okay. Farah is going to continue to step forward as well. And then she's going to cast... She's going to cast this at Dex as well. Okay. 
make a uh, Jack. Yeah. That's her teammate. <laughs> oh, not Dex. I'm sorry, <laughs> Zelgius. Woo, sorry, that was bad. Um. So slash. Wow, I was going to counterspell it. So. Oh, are you? Okay. Uh, so you're using counterspell. Level four. Or, well, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So she raises her hand and begins to cast a spell towards you, and you uh, turn your lightning swords towards her and literally cut the spell out of the air as it comes towards you. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to do it if it wasn't somatic. Thank God. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's where death would have fucked me. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um. Then I guess her turn is over, maybe? No, she's going to use a bonus action to cast uh, Healing Word at Dex. Okay, and that will bring us to Renfell. Okay. So, would a 20-foot radius sphere from this point reach Dex? Yes. Okay. So I'll move up here. And I'm going to try and cast uh, my fireball scroll right on this spot. Okay. Uh, fireball? Uh, deck save for I have, fire... to, I have to roll because it's third level and I can't cast third level, but it's a scroll. Oh, okay. So roll a spellcasting ability check. So Which for you is intelligence. So just it's just intelligence. straight intelligence roll. DC is 13. Damn. Fails. Oh. The scroll uh, burns to ash in her hands, but the magic fades in the air and does not ignite. God damn it. That's your action. All right. Get up on it. Um, yeah, it's still 20 feet of movement. guy with my crossbow. I'll take it out. Okay. Or not. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I could have done that anyways because there was an action to use the scroll, right? Right, yeah. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, that's that's my turn then. Okay. You wasted all your, your good rolls on streaking through the city. <laughs> Thor's turn. Okay. Uh, Elthor's going to use rule of law to instigate pacifism. Good thing I only use one attack per round. <laughs> okay. Creatures within the circle can only make one attack per round. <clears throat> is that kind of if you leave the circle, or is it only affecting the people in the circle? It only if well, no, it, it, like it's like a aura. So anybody within the circle when they try to make an attack. Okay. Can only I just wasn't attack. sure if it like stayed with you if you left. No, it moves with him, so he's he's exuding an aura. Um, 
And yeah, if you leave the area, then you can attack as normal. Um, this is action. Oh, he also took uh, 1d6 plus 2 from starting his turn in my elemental square. Right. Go ahead and roll that. So, 5 more lightning damage. Okay. And then uh, he's going to move to here. Ella is not going to do anything. He's still in range. Right. Yep. Okay. Um, that'll bring us to Plexum's turn. <sighs> Thank God he moved. Um, I'm just going to go, like, right the fuck up next to deck. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I am going to attack. Okay. First one, I have five charges on my sword. I'm going to expend all five of them on the first attack. Okay. So 18. Uh, 18 hits. So that's 17 points. Okay. And then second attack. Crit for 22. Crit. Wow. Yeah. Praxlin is the new juggernaut, I think. <laughs> 22 plus 3, so 23. I've, yeah. I've, yeah. Yeah, you just barely. Does the ball despawn or does the ball stay there? Uh, the ball stays. Oh. You, yeah. you, you need to, you need to instigate right, our plan. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. I figured I would ask that. Oopsies, I did the wrong one. Plan undefeatable juggernaut. Engage. <laughs> well, don't forget the ball is still gonna move thirty feet at round No, I 20. know. Yes, but he still has. Does he have any movement left, or do you use all your movement? I have five feet. <laughs> what happens if the ball rolls over somebody? The ball doesn't do anything unless it contacts the. Actually, dude, even just staying there, you might kill Dex with the AoE damage. That's really gonna fuck him up. Yeah. Actually, the plan is a little different. But, yeah, that's basically the plan. Um, and then I'm gonna use my last five feet of movement to move, like, just around him on the other side of the ball. Okay. Oh, boy. That's it. Oh, man, I would've moved up closer to that cleric. I I can just, well, he only had five feet. <laughs> only could, five yeah, feet. one corner or the other. All right. Uh, can you pop out the thing for Juggernaut real quick? Because it's, like, really high up in the chat. What's that? Like, the things that you get for being a Juggernaut. I know about the oh. temporary hit points. Yeah, sure. Here. Thank you. <laughs> oh, did he get that 10-foot increase in movement? He might have been yes, able to get farther. Oh, shit, I did. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, then I'll just, that's 30 foot radius. I'll move there. Okay. That. Wait. <laughs> okay. Fuck. Um, I am going to take a step back and then charge into this guy. And I'm going to take that plus five mm -hmm. to the damage roll if I get it. Okay. Oh! As you charge in, uh, he grabs his great sword and smacks your Arangal to the side. And uh, strike goes wide. All right. And um, yeah, I'm just going to take a step down and that'll be my turn all right garst uh i think right about now we could use some healing oh 
Oh, oh, I did not mean to move there. Um, I'm scared of grouping up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot. Or wait, no. How does loading work? You can only shoot once per turn. Okay. Um, I'm gonna shoot at the ground right below Thok and uh, Zelgius. Okay. And then, uh, can I judge really quick who's who's hurting the most right now? Make an insight check. Good lord. They're both damaged. Um. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and, and distribute. I'm gonna distribute twelve hit points total from the pool, eight to Zelgius and four to Thok. Okay. And then I'm gonna use my movement to go thirty-five. There. Hiding in the corner. <laughs> yes, there. Proper cleric. Okay. <laughs> good old Just boy. Want to get a good side of the get a good side of the fun, and then okay. uh, as no, no, actually, that'll be my turn. Alrighty. Uh, the doom ball slides forward immediately next to Praxlin. And you see, it's just this glowing ball of red energy that just kind of passes through Dex as it moves by him. And then as soon as it gets next to Prexlin, it starts to shake, quiver, orange cracks appear in its surface, and it bursts into the ground. Uh, let's see. Where that feels it? bad. <laughs> Al Hu Akbar! Uh -huh. Prexlin, you legend. Oh, I'm not going to die from this. No, I know, okay. but you hit two of them with it. Deck save DC 18. Fuck. So close. Beautiful. Oh, there Perfect. it is. Worth it. Oof. 28 points of fire damage. Didn't even take wow. your shield off. No, it did not. This is such an intense arena. Okay. Okay, so... Um, and... Oh, Elthor become... Oh. Do I still have those two last temporary hit points? Or that, does that go with the Juggernaut thing? Those disappear with the Juggernaut. Okay. Flash just bouncing between their teams. I mean, I I could show you the whole... I, you're all in the rollable table, so... No, no, no. no. I, I'm just fucking around. Don't worry. Here, just to... There. No, so, like really, I was I was really just fucking around. You're in there. You're all in there. I okay. know. Anyway, <laughs> um, who's next? Now you just fucked up my chances of getting jugged. I didn't see a Zell in there. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> Zell isn't. <laughs> okay. Dex's turn. Nope. It's too good. Um, let's see. Uh, I do not see the aura for the new juggernaut. Oh, sorry, my bad. Yeah, let's let this guy. Word. There we go. I know it's the pally. Okay. Um. <laughs> that was an unlucky roll, then. What 
is he going to do? He's going to move here. And he's going to cast... Wait, let me check the range on this. Oh god, it's another line spell, isn't it? Huh? No. There you go. 40. Yeah. Why do you guys always line up with me, Thok? <laughs> For fuck's sakes. <clears throat> 100 foot line. Uh, dexterity saving throw, DC, uh, 14. Oh my god, really? I have a plus 7. Uh, okay. 29 points of lightning damage. Oof. Um, I don't know what your... Is your elemental immune? Or is it resistant? Oh yeah, he's immune to lightning damage. Okay, so he doesn't take any lightning damage. And then as a bonus action... Let's see. Um, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, he's resistant. Away? How far away are you? Oh no! <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, you see a small whirlwind appear over Dex's head, and it quickly shoots out towards Dex, or uh, towards Zell. Sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that. 17? Uh, I believe that'll... Yep, hits me. You take three points of damage, and you need to make a strength saving throw. That succeeds. For fuck's sake. <laughs> okay. Uh, that'll end his turn. Your turn, Zelgus. Well, I'm probably going to get to see what the uh, Holy Mirius thing is next time I'm down, so <laughs> that's kind of at least cool. Um, I'm going to step up here, and I'm going to slap this dude once. Okay. Okay. Mm. That hits. 19 damage. Ooh, uh, okay. Okay. I'm then going to use my blink from Relentless Hex. Okay. And I'm going to hit this biddy. Okay. Or miss her. That misses. Okay. So you blink yourself across the field to there. Your elemental? Uh, he's going to step into his field, so he takes the d6 plus 2. Okay. So 6 damage. Okay. And then he's going to make 2 melee attacks whilst occupying his spot. 23. You can, you can only make 1 melee attack. I, do I not just take damage if I ignore it? What? No, no, no. He takes damage if he ignores it. You can't ignore it. Oh. Well, okay. Six damage. <laughs> okay. I am the new juggernaut, correct? No, you're not. That, what? Ha <laughs> uh... 19 plus 6 is 25, plus 6 is 31. Oh. <sighs> really getting annoyed with stuff, whatever. Um... Sorry. God, these, they're fucking OP as shit. <laughs> Guys, we still got this. I mean, You're not the one at one hit point who's been literally attacked by... Like everybody three times, but okay. Yeah, but you're the only guy who's been focused. The rest of the team is fresh. She takes six points of lightning damage. Speak I mean, for yourself about being fresh. I mean, I knew they were going to focus one person. It was just a matter of who. And there goes the second one. Hey. 
Okay. I mean, that was their whole tactic the whole time, wasn't it? To f f focus one person. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Can't do that with this group. Okay. Um, <clears throat> or Lena's turn. Hopefully the the Amirius thing is cool because we <laughs> finally get to see that. <laughs> Versus Elgius. Oh, it hits. It's there's. Oh wait, what? Oh, that's the archer. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. I'm down. So. Okay. Now I'm gonna send you a card. I hope you're oh, ready. it's finally time, boys. Wagon Gohan flip incoming. Wraith. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a moment to read that. Oh shit! <laughs> I got I gotta pull this off screen quickly. Uh, if you don't mind, I am gonna roll your token for you. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, actually, I've got to do this because. There you are. Ha, little Holy little shit! <laughs> Killing me only made me stronger. Yo, I'm badass. Oh, I can't see anything now. <laughs> what is it, a lich? Uh, just a second. Uh, advanced. There you go. Represents. Uh, Zelgius. Save changes. Holy shit, what the fuck is he? It's like a lightning lich. Right? Uh, <laughs> this is worth it! It's fucking worth it! Oh! Oh, let the saltiness wash away! Uh, I still use my normal character sheet stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's all still there. Um, what's your... What's half of your HP? I still can't see, by the way. Uh, half, I think, is 34. I wonder if this still counts as us not losing a team member. Oh, you deleted my max hit points. <laughs> Oops, as what's your max? As their, uh, uh, 80. The arena. It was 58, uh, actually. It was 58, because it was 68 with Bless. Oh, okay. So it's 29? Yeah. There you go. Is that better? Yeah, I mean, my screen's still black, but... Uh, oh, I just gotta give your token. I forgot I gotta give it sight. Advanced, 120. Worth it, guys. Save changes. There you go. Sounds like I have been prolonging this ability for a very long time. Yeah, but I mean, this is a fucking sweet reveal, so you know what? It's all good. Okay, so uh, let's. Um, I think this is deserving of this. And the crowd goes wild. So, um, as you see the silver arrow streak out of Orlina's bow back towards. Zelgius, you watch his body fall. And then you see that gauntlet, that gauntlet that's a silver chromed color as opposed to the rest of his black armor begins to swirl and crackle and arc with electric energy. And as it does so, you see that the, the rest of his armor begins to change to the same color, or at least that's what it looks like at first. And then you realize, no, the gauntlet is growing backwards encasing in his entire body in a suit of what appears to be full plate armor. No, it does not give you any AC bonuses. Um, and as it stretches back, his head gets encompassed in this full helmet, and you hear Amarius' voice cry out, He will not fall! His form swirling with electric energy as he stands back up. I think I've uh, escalated to main character status. <laughs> this is so cool. Nah, fuck off with that main character bullshit. <laughs> no main characters. <laughs> Everybody gets their own cool shit. Not cool. It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, Orlina, still her turn. Uh, what she gonna do? What she gonna do? Now 
she's gonna run away from the scary electrical thing next to her. Um... It's because I got removed from the turn order, so I'm like... Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. No, no. What were you at? You were at a nine, nine right? Nine, I was just above the elemental. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ferris, unconscious. Renfeld. Alrighty. Don't forget only one attack inside that aura. How rough is Dex looking? Uh, Dex, because of the shield, um, he's hurt, but not terrible. All right. I will move uh, just arbitrarily, like right there, maybe. I will use my uh, teleport. teleport. Misty step. Yep, Misty step to right there. Okay. And hit him. Okay. With my swords. Uh, make sure he doesn't have anything. I'm guessing that hits. Yes, it does. So action surge. Okay. Oh shit. Two more times. Okay. Uh, the first one hits. Now wait, you moved, you used a bonus to teleport, you had an action to attack, which means your first attack would have had two. And then, oh, yeah. then you action surge, which would give you two more attacks, so you technically have one more attack to roll. That hits as well. Okay. Elthor's turn. Oh god. Oh. <clears throat> <laughs> And he can't attack again because of his... Oh, arm. yes. So he missed. Yep. Pussy. Okay. Uh, he does have a bonus action. Does he have anything to do on his bonus action that's not an attack? Wait, so since you can only attack once per round, you can't take a reaction... To attack either. Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, say per round or per turn? This is per round. Uh, it says per round. Okay. Um, he's going to... Yeah, he's going to move and he's going to take the attack if you try, so... Actually, no, wait. Cancel that. Okay. Um, I get a reaction, correct? Yep. That hits. I <laughs> so I do a whole one damage to him. Sweet. Okay. <clears throat> and that is going to bring us to Praxel. All right. Um, Keep in mind that the Doom Ball is here. Okay. So let me measure out real quick. All right. Um, I think... Would I be able to move to there? 
I'm like, I should probably just measure that out, right? Yeah. Yeah, you, you uh, what's your movement speed? 40? S no, it's 60. Oh, yeah, then you got it. <laughs> okay. No, I was just wondering because of, uh, this thing. But... Oh, yeah, no, th those don't block movement or sight. Oh, cool, okay. So, yeah, I'll just attack, um, the boat. Okay. Yeah, I'll attack the boat person. Sorry, I forgot about push the talk. Um, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so 17 points of damage. And the second. That one misses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thok, your turn. All right. Time to uh, charge again. Charge right up to this bitch. Okay. Ah, advantage doesn't really help me, but 16. Barely hits. Oh, thank God. Uh, it's a sneak attack, too, so yeah. 19. Are you using any of Arangal's charges? Um. Trying to think. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to use two charges. Okay. Uh, please. Oof. Holy shit, that's a high charisma save. Yep. Alright, no damage. Right. And I'll end my turn there. Okay. Burst. Right. Uh <laughs> I do. Oh crap. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Earth Skimmer. Oh jeez. Okay, concentration spell. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And I'm going to uh splat the same uh lady that has been the bow person. Uh so they have to make a Strength saving throw. I'm going to start here. Okay, can so I, using the, I... you're using the dash action to move, yeah, into her space. It uh, it gives me sixty. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you, you have a sixty foot speed. Mm -hmm. All right. She fails her strength saving throw, so she takes forty six bludgeoning damage and is knocked prone. Yes. So I believe <laughs> I did that correctly. Uh -huh. That is and such a sick skill. And she's prone. Yes, and I am now hovering five feet above the ground on this uh, earth disc. Right. So, oh, uh, I get it. He's an earthbender. Yeah, so you see the earth beneath him begin <laughs> to rise as he stands on a literal slab of earth from the arena floor. And it, as he does so, it leans towards her and just shoots across the arena, running her over as he does so, and she gets knocked to the ground as he floats above her. I mean, it makes sense since we've already seen a metal bend. Okay. And, of what course, see? the Doom Ball is going to move. Goodbye, Renfell. I forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, it's all right. no. It's fucking them all up. DC 18. Renfell might have this, though. Renfell's a dexterous motherfucker. DC 18 dexterity saving throw. Nope. Aww. And 39 points of fire damage. Oh, shit. It just knocked... It, it had to have knocked wow. X out. Wow. Yes, yes, it did. That, uh... Yeah, that knocked me out. Okay, so he takes... That's why I said Rip Brentfell. Uh, that was actually, like, a really good roll, too. He got one, two fours and one three, and then the rest were fives and sixes. Okay. And then... So this guy is no longer... I didn't even get to use my second win. Yeah. He's no longer the juggernaut. 
Uh, let's see here. Who is not on the token anymore? Uh, Renfell's not on the token anymore. Far is not on the token anymore. And save and then roll. Praxlin again. Praxlin is the juggernaut. Hell yes, I am. We don't need so, anybody else on our team to have it, just Praxlin. <laughs> that was pretty much our strategy, and <laughs> we didn't yeah, even implement it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, and then. There you go. Uh, let me just do this real quick. There we go. Okay. Uh, Renfell is on the ground unconscious as is Dex as Elthor stands above them. And the turn goes to Zelgius. Well, I'm going to do my cool thing and uh, instantly teleport behind this guy. Okay. Or 2d6 uh lightning damage. Uh, spell okay. save DC, which is 16, I believe. Yep. Uh... Dexterity? Yep. Fails. No. I fucked up our clean record. No, I technically... Well, I, I didn't... It, I don't fall unconscious from that. The way it's We're read, at good. least. So, uh... You watch as the towering form of elemental armor that is Zelgius uh, transforms into a bolt of energy that arcs across the field, passing through Elthor. And reappearing on the other side, great sword at the ready. Uh, I'm going to hold up my left hand and move my hex over to him with my bonus action. Okay. And then I'm going to attack him once. Okay, go ahead. And miss. <laughs> that misses. Okay. Um, your elemental? Uh, it's going to just sit in his spot. And then smack him twice, but... Smack him once. Yes. Uh, so five damage from standing in this space. Okay. Oh, I've got so many extra tabs open now. No. That hits. Holy crap, 28. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, it's going a lot better than I thought it would. Orlina, surrounded I, on three sides. I was very worried my, like, when you're down thing wasn't going to be as useful as it is. Although I'm going to be fucked afterwards. <laughs> so, double-edged sword. Um, let's see what she's going to do. Where is she here? What she got? What she got? Does she have anything... No, she does not. That's what I like to hear. Uh, she's going to... Oh, she's going to attack with disadvantage? Yeah, okay, so she's going to use... Uh, a moonbow arrow against Thok. Oopsies. Disadvantage, 23. Yeah, that hits. You take 14 points of damage. Cunning action. Uh, you mean, you mean on Candy Dodge? That's what I meant. Cutting that I had out. cunning action open. Ah, I'm hitting all the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you cut it down to 7 points of damage. And then she's going to use her bonus action to attack again at disadvantage for 10. Ah, uh, miss. Okay. Bet you're dead. And then she's going to try to move. Is she going to try to move? Yeah. <laughs> she's going to try to move to... That's standing up. What? Oh, yeah, half of her movement is standing up. 
crap. You're right, because she's prone. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, <laughs> she can take two attacks of opportunity. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can give an attack? Yeah. Uh, Praxa and, and Garst each get an attack. Um, is that with advantage because if she was, uh... No, because... Oh, wait. Well, it's when she moves to a new spot, right? Yeah, but or... she left his here. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. So, technically, yeah. They both have advantage, right? Uh, Garst, Garst does not. But Praxlin does, so he deals... Oh, with... right, right. 16. Okay, Garst, your turn. Uh... Are you shooting her? Uh, well, that's the weapon I had out, I think. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that misses, but yeah. regardless. I don't think... Yeah. Does that heal? Uh, Where well... does the bolt land? Uh, well, he shot in this direction. And she was standing, so he wasn't aiming low. So Damn it. It, it lands somewhere over in this area. I'm going, okay, I'm going to be honest. It, it's uh, it's not got much, much less juice in it for for today, and it takes a while to charge back up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> that leaves a right. sort of. one turn since then so we'll just do that that's a he fails as well okay so elthor's turn elthor is going to attack towards zogius to me elemental he takes elemental damage to you 1d6 plus yep go ahead and roll it so eight damage 13 miss finally <sighs> Plus seven now. Okay. Uh, Praxlin. Uh, no, he's going to stay there because he doesn't want to take the attacks. He's going to wait for you all to come to him now. Okay. Cool. Uh, Praxlin, your turn. I'm going to move up next to Renfell. Okay. And I'm going to use my action to feed him a regular healing potion. He could have moved, by the way, because we used our attacks in the round. We can only attack once Oh, per yeah. Round. He could have, but it's fine. Uh, you're yeah. feeding. You're using your action to feed him. Yeah, is it an action that gives somebody else yep. a potion? Yep, that's fine. I was just clarifying. Yeah. So, so a regular one. Do you want me to roll? Two d four plus two. Oh, I got a hot key. Don't worry. Eight points of healing to Renfell. Yeah. Yeah, I got a hot key for that. Renfell, you appear on the ground uh, as you're choking as Praxlin slams a healing potion between your teeth. Ah. Uh, Praxlin, you do anything with your bonus? The sound of renewed uh, life. What's, uh, what's this guy got going on again? Uh, he's full plate armor and... Yeah, like, what's this aura? You can, oh, uh, you, can only, you can only attack once per turn. All right. Um, I'm going to use my last blood maledict to use um, disabling bolts on him. Oh, okay. So there's the roll. It's a DC 12. Uh, where is he? Wisdom save? Yes. He barely passes. Well, it was worth it. <laughs> so it's damage to him. Uh, what is it? It's five, right? Yeah, the force is the uh, bolt, but yeah, it's five either way. You didn't amplify it? No. 
amplifying is for when I use it on an ally. Oh, it does not deal damage. Never mind. Okay. Um, fuck your turn. Well, I'm fucking bleeding everywhere. Um, <laughs> and I see that there's only one fucking guy left. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I am going to fucking wait. Um, I can stand in the gate, right? Like right here. Yes. All right. Yeah. So I'm just gonna charge and okay. get advantage on the roll. Okay. Twenty-two. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Uh oh. He's actually gonna be able to do it. Yep. Oh, the madman. Make a wisdom saving throw. DC is fourteen. Ah. Uh. You instead charge in and attack Renfell. Shit. <laughs> um, well, yeah. it's only a 14. Yeah. It's only a 14. Yeah. So I don't, I don't think I hit. I don't have an advantage on Renfell. Renfell is still prone, so you do have advantage on him with melee attacks. Yes, you do. Uh, so 22. Six. Six points of piercing damage. Well, he healed eight. He still has two. <laughs> Fox just like trips and plants a dagger in his thigh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right. Uh, bonus action. I used it to charge. Okay. Uh, Garst. Right. Well. Uh, da, 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 da. Fucking hammer slam into him. <laughs> Garst is just gonna be skateboarding around battlefields now, man. That's uh, fucking so cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Just cycle around this way, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know. I just really want to hit something, so I want to shoot him. <laughs> I'm sorry, preemptively, Renfell. <laughs> I'm aware. I'm Go aware. Ahead and fire. It can maybe fix the problem. <laughs> you... Holy oh! shit! Oh! 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 Twenty barely hits. Whew. Alrighty, go ahead and roll that damage. That's uh, just six, six damage. Now, if uh, you could do a little healy heal. You. Uh, yeah. So, from my remaining healing, I'm gonna. I got 12. Uh, give everybody two. Just to top, top off a little bit. Oh. Uh. If it helps other people, you can forego healing me, or is it just like everybody gets two from your pool? Uh, no, I distribute it to people nearby. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'll, I'll give I'll give Renfell four, <laughs> because uh, I did just see him get stabbed after being reawoken. Yeah. Okay. As the uh, Doom Ball moves. Uh, Praxlin, it gets charged with your your attacks get charged with lightning energy. Your next attack deals two d six lightning damage. Oh, nice! If I can get an attack out, that is. Well, your next attack that hits. I should clarify. Right, right. Okay, Dex is down and has to make a death saving throw. Thirteen success. And Zogius. Well. <sighs> Uh, yeah, I'm just going to swing at him. Okay. 18. Uh, oopsies. Oopsies. Uh, that misses. 18? Oh. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm gonna step over here and use my movement to blitz through him. Dex save. Right. Uh... Seventeen. Is that half damage? Uh, I gotta read the thing. Sorry. Yeah, I know. This brand new ability. <laughs> yeah, half as much. So five okay. damage. Okay. Uh, your elemental. 
Uh, he's gonna step out of his space into his space, so he takes uh, a d6 plus two. Okay. So six damage, and then we'll out of his space again to attack him. <laughs> okay. That hits. Eight bludgeoning damage. And then he's okay. gonna sit on him again. Okay, he can only take the damage once per turn. But... <laughs> yes, but this way when it starts, turn, he'll take more damage. Okay. Uh, Orlina makes her death saving throw. Oh, so is every on, right? is every chunk of damage we're doing to this guy just like five damage less? <laughs> yep. yep. Holy fuck. Literally every strike is reduced by five. That's wild. Oh, I did one damage. Yeah. Is it only attacks Fine. or is it everything? Every damage, every Holy source of damage shit. is reduced. That's that's fucking. Ren failed too, right? Yeah. Ren fell. I am going to stand up. Okay. And second wind. Okay. And then you still have an action. One D ten plus six seven. Scott, she failed two deaths. Yeah. She's supposed to be off the field. Oh you're right. I'm sorry. Nice. That's a nice chunk of health. Oh shit. Okay. And then I'm going to smack him a couple times. Once. Okay. Twice. Yeah, once. Because no, had... you can only hit no. him once because of his aura. Oh, right. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. I meant to cancel that. Okay. Instead, I'm just going to burning hands in his general direction. Oh, shit. Well, you're going to hit the elemental as well. I mean, it's an yeah, elemental. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Non issue. You're also going to hit Dex, and he's off the field now. <laughs> yeah, uh, Yeah, I guess you can totally throw it that way. Also, the uh, elemental only took three damage. Yep. So. Okay. Althor's turn. Althor's going to just whirl around, and he's going to attack Thok. God damn it. He has a DC save. A DC save for what? For half damage. For oh, for half damage? Uh, what was it, dex? Failed. Okay. So, uh, Lawful Smite. Holy oh, shit. Lord. Goddamn. Well, that's alright, though. No, 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 that's okay. You can reaction. Okay. Yeah. Because I came back at one health. <laughs> <laughs> I, I... <laughs> that might be the most wasteful overhit. I thought you were saying you only had one health because like he might, he might get disqualified for just flat out murdering you. Yep. <laughs> Could have basically happened. just are durable. Could have happened. Okay. Uh, let's see what's what's he gonna do. He doesn't have any bonus actions worthy of anything. So, Praxlin. Okay, um, I very simply am just going to move right here. That's it. Okay. Oh, Fraxlin, you fucking legend. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's, that's what that, uh, that. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Are you trying to get it to go through the yellow gate again? Well, no, it's from the explosions from where the ball is. So like, if I'm there, it'll be. Oh, here, right? that's yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna end there. Okay. I don't care if it goes to the gate or not. <laughs> okay. Fuck, your turn. Let's see. Hold on, I'm just trying to. Oh shit. I can't get an advantage without getting hit. Um... Uh, no, you can you can dance around him. Well, no, no, no. Um, the ball. Oh yeah, no. Oh, no, 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 you're totally out of range of the ball. Thirty, 30 yeah, feet. forty feet. You'll be you'll be fine on that side. It's yeah, only gonna good. hit me and oh, him right now. Okay, all right, gotcha. Not to I mention, was, he, not to mention, he's, from, already, he's he's already attacked. I'm thinking from here. 
Oh, yeah, I was doing it from here, 30 feet. Yeah, uh, but he he's already attacked, so you can dance around, attack him, and then back out because oh, you can't attack him. True, true. Yeah, you'll okay. be fine. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to run around to the other side of him, give him a quick slash. Okay. Uh, 19 doesn't hit, right? No, it does not. And then I am going to... Hold on. Let's see. And I thought Dex was going to be the badass on this team, man. This guy's a fucking legend. <laughs> Dex is a fucking boss. Um, you can do that from day one. Full, this guy's a freaking raid boss. <laughs> man, we're all wailing on him, and none of us can, like, do big dick DPS. It's, it's hard to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run up next to Garst, using my bonus <laughs> action to dash. <laughs> okay. Good. Garst, your turn. All right. I would like to make a point that... Uh, as soon as I started making shots with this crossbow, I've been kind of flaunting it. Well, wait, kind of um, making ball has to move, sure actually. Okay. No, ball moves before. Oh, really? I thought it yeah, was right 11, 20. Oh, okay. Okay, so oh, you've, been, you've been flaunting yeah. the fact that you've been using your crossbow? Yes. Uh, like, to the crowd? A lot more, a lot more show, showmanship than Garst usually uh, does in the arena. And now that I've been, now that I'm on the Earth Skimmer, I am like holding it over my head when I was doing that, uh, that circle around the arena. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, well, seeing thought coming up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, sheathe it and uh, reach out with a second level cure wounds. Okay. Was that nine? Yeah. Sweet. And then. Hold on. Ah, oh, man. Wait. Wait. Could I. Hold on, I need to do the tracking thing. Wait, no, that's wrong. That's wrong. Oops. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> well, I'm gonna come over. I'm just gonna go over here and uh, line up for next turn. Uh, wait, where, where, where did you go? Uh, from here to here. Oh, okay. Uh, and I'm just gonna wait it out. Well, uh, again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, after I'm done healing Fock, I'm gonna bring the crossbow back out and kind of act like I'm about to... For the record, uh, can, you, can you see that line? Yes. I can. Do you see what I'm going for? Doesn't he have to use the dash, dash I action? I have to use the dash action. That's oh, why I was, to, I was to trying to line it up. Well, your bonus action realized. was the second level spell. No, no, right? no, no. Cure no. wounds is is an action. It's healing words. Uh, action. Oh shit! Okay. Okay. So, Never mind. I forgot it, it requires the dash. Yeah, that's why. That's what I was trying to line it up, uh, but I, I forgot that. So that'll okay. be my turn. Okay then. Um, kaboom! Yonder kaboom ball goes kaboom from right there. Oh, that's gonna oh, hit Renfell. <laughs> What's that? That one will hit Renfell then. Oh, well, well, 35, no, 35. It goes yeah, up to 30 feet. It's a 30 no, foot range. It does it not say 35? No, no, it says 30. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 30 foot radius. Oh, okay. It'll hit you. Yeah, uh, no, that's good then. And, that's and fine. <laughs> okay, DC 18, dexterity saving throw. Please look, give me one. I need to get it a fucking 20 or a 19. Lord, <laughs> <that's what you're laughs> <say>. Now. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh my uh, god. 30 well, points of fire damage. Well, I basically take no damage again, so all good. I'm unconscious. I'll come get you. No, no, it's all good. Whew! And I, your elemental raiment, I assume, is also... Uh, yeah, 30? Yeah, he's just dead. Okay. 
So okay. does your form drop when you die again? Or? I assume so. Yes, it does. Okay. And I'm yeah. also terribly, terribly, terribly fucked. <laughs> it, it does go instantly to my turn, so I could just go over there and heal him. Uh, death saving throw from Zelgius. Fail. Yeah, if you could heal him, that would be great. <laughs> uh... This dude isn't down? How much more health does this guy have? Fuck. Well, he just took, like, what? Did he make the save? No, he didn't. So 25. He took, like, 25. He took 25, yeah. All right, uh, Renfell, your turn. Beneath that armor is secretly a terrorist. <laughs> a terrorist? <laughs> a terrorist, you mean? Exactly. <laughs> I will go over to Zell and give him a healing potion. Woohoo! Sweet. Pay it forward. Who's the new juggernaut? Oh, that's oh. a 20. No, that's a, it's an issue of 20, isn't it? I uh, know, it should have happened right away. So that's 2d4 yeah. plus 2. Let's do that. Uh... Yeah, 2d4 plus 2. Let's see here. Who is no longer part of it? Uh, Zelgius wouldn't have been part of it when it happened. Actually, we're just going to go like this. Zelgius wouldn't have been part of it when it happened. Orlina's out. Dex is out. And before it's me again? <sighs> if it's fucking him, we're fucked. Yeah. Okay, it's oh, Garst. Garst. We're good. <laughs> Garst is the juggernaut. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh if that fucking bomb rolls up right next to Garst because it still moves at initiative twenty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might. Oh, don't roll the three. There we go. There's that. Can you guys see that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I still have it on me. And then, oh, yeah, I gotta get rid of it on you. And then we go. It's a three. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it doesn't move on a 20. It moves on 11. So Garst has one move before it happens. Yeah, it spawns before it moves. That's why it's like it's got its own initiative order. Right, right. Yep. So okay. everyone else can move out of the way while you sacrifice yourself. I'm gonna I'm make, make this guy roadkill. <laughs> okay, uh, Renfo, you use your action to give him a thing. Do you got a bonus you want to use? Uh, nothing I can do. Alright. Uh, Elthor's turn. What's it gonna do? What's it gonna do? Uh, let's see. I guess he'll lawful smite Renfell. Hey, hold on. <laughs> this guy, this guy over here has been there since like the beginning. She succeeded twice. Really? Yep. Yeah, she's doing good. That 15? Miss. Oh, wait, no. If it equals it, it hits. Uh, meter yes. beat. Yep. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh God! Damn, this guy's <laughs> terrifying! That's fucking... Ooh. Dude, this guy's insane. Ooh. Wow. Range attack, guys. This guy's Ranged. literally... Nice. Dex was crying for us because he knew we had to fight against this guy. I'm crying for you! <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh... Alright, Renfell's down. Uh, Plus fucking seven. Praxlin. Give me a sec here. Just do some, some measuring. I mean, if Renfell can't move before the bomb, he's gonna get fucking rock beat anyway. <laughs> Alright, um, he's unconscious, so I'm just gonna run over, pick him up, and run up here. Uh, what's your movement speed? 60. Or wherever 20 feet is after that. It's an action to pick him up, and you have half movement after you pick him up. Okay, so then I'll just move to the edge of the gate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just, and then... We'll just kind of keep moving him. He's already attacked, so he can't attack again. Okay. Uh, that'll bring us to... 
Uh, fuck. Alright, um, I'm going to, since I still see that there is one other body that's still in the field, mm-hmm. I am going to use my bonus action to dash. Okay. And then use my movement to get right over next to her. Okay. And just fucking stab her. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll. 19. Yeah, okay. So she's... Poof. Gown. Out of the arena. Out. And I will end my turn there. Alrighty. Uh, Ghost. <clears throat> You got a oh, doom ball there. You gotta keep that doom ball away from us as best you can, and we're all dead. Hug it. Hug it. Hug it. You can just dash over him. Got that double move with the run over. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, you could dash into him aware. and then back back up. Yeah, I think I, I Just don't land on him. Unless you sacrifice literally everybody. <laughs> The final match of the proving ends in a tie. Yeah, I mean, if you stand, if you stand here, the ball will jump to there and then fucking blow that dude and you up. Yeah. Well, you have sixty feet of movement too. Mm-hmm. So you could dash over to him and back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said you can you can you nail him with the knockdown and then run back. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's what I was planning on doing at the start of the turn. So. Uh... Well, I want to make sure. Technically speaking, you could run him over and then dash next to the ball right now and blow it up now. That's kind of what yeah. I was also but thinking. Was that'll hit me. Yeah. Well, it'll, it, it'll knock out Zell, but... Okay. Is Wait, is Zell, is Zell uh, awake? He's yeah, awake. Yes, awake. I'm yeah, alive. No. But Renfell got him up, and I have Renfell in my hands. The thing is, no matter what, it's going to go next turn. So you can either hit me needlessly, or I can get a chance to swing at him and do some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it's up to you. I'm just pointing out I that going next to it now is an option. Measuring really quick. So it's, it, it'd be... You can see my arrows? Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, you can use the measuring so tool and hit right you. there. All right. From atop the uh, the well, actually no. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dash action hit him. Okay. Dash back here. Okay. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's that'll do that'll end the sphere here, which will give it a range out to here. Gonna probably kill so Renfell. much measuring in Yeah, this. no, no, no. You have to go back one more space. There you go. I'll be fine, but... That'll end it here. One which more. will still hit Zell. One more back. Like, hug the wall. One more. Okay. There, there you go. That's too far. That's <laughs> not gonna hit the other guy. Yeah, it is. No. Uh... no. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nope, it won't. Yep. There you, there you go. go. Right there. That's okay. the That's the sweet spot. <laughs> make him make, That's it. make him make the strength save. Let's play with rulers. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, where is it? Here he is. Strength saving throw. Nope. Oh. Alright. So that means it does. Ooh, that's hard up on him, too. 15 points of damage. He is 10. And he's prone. And he's prone. Ooh, and I'm just going to park right here. And uh, accept my uh, fiery hug that I'm about to get. You're going to take, like, no damage, too, because you're fire yeah. resistance. Bam. Mm-hmm. Well, no, uh, so you have the temp hit points. Yeah, mm-hmm. so you have 30 temporary hit points. No. Nope. Look at that. And the Doom Ball explodes. DC 18 dexterity throw. I see why this was called Doom oh. Ball. It's a ball of doom. 29 points of fire damage. Yeah, you're fine, Garth. Four. Reduced by half. You, you for... straight up won't even take I mean, damage just, regardless just, you're safe. I never put on the temp health, so I'm just going to not do anything because I lose it because I'm not the juggernaut anymore. Yeah. Well, yeah. And, that's, and that's the win. 
with that? I want to do the. I want to as coolly as possible face away from the from the death ball as it explodes and try my best to not flinch while atop the earth skimmer. <laughs> okay. Very <laughs> Sorry. Jesus yeah. Christ. I love how Geist is just staring at a brick wall when he wins the arena. <laughs> so, as the last fireball goes off, killing off the last of the members of Occult Reckoning, you hear the crowd erupt in the loudest cheer you've ever heard in the arena. Uh, Korn steps out of the gate and walks to the center of the arena, giving a nod to each of you as he raises his hands toward the crowds. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our proving champions. Three days from now, we will see them face off against the winners of the gauntlet in The Harrowing for the grand prize pot. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Also, three days is the perfect amount of time because I got two levels of yeah. exhaustion I need to burn. <laughs> oh, so, shit. Uh, I'm going to leave that music on for a minute. Uh, we're going to end this session there just because I want to do some uh, behind the scenes math tracking of how much money you guys have generated for yourselves. Um, adding in the stuff that you guys did today. So, uh, what did you guys think of Doom Ball? That was very fun. That was, yeah, was that was one of the best encounters I've ever played in d d Wasn't what I expected. I'll bet not. It took some serious thinking to figure out what I was going to do with it all, but I had a lot of ideas. I had the I'm Juggernaut. Sorry really curious what the shards would have been uh it would have been uh fucked up Fortnite. oh okay. there would have been that. circle there, there would have been various circles on the arenas each one with a different effect in it but if you weren't in any of them you would have had the same 8d6 fire damage all right Damn. well this is way better than that yeah so, yeah uh glad you guys liked it that was we only had one person down for the end, anyway. Well, nobody got off the field. Yeah, none uh, no, of us were. Yeah, right. Technically, nobody was teleported off the field, so it's still we, considered a... Yeah. Uh, Came in with five and left with five. Flawless yeah. victories. Yeah, across the board. I just want to point, point out I only took five damage that whole fight. <laughs> I took... Uh... 14? Yeah, I acted we... as the worst archer of all time. I didn't three, go below sixty-five, though. I three of you, and three of you damage. ended up, three of you ended up dropping to zero, and for one reason or another, two of you ended up coming back up, uh, almost immediately. Yeah, I'm trying to think. What Renfell, you dropped twice, right? Yeah. And Zelgius dropped twice. I dropped. Zelgius got himself up once. So yeah, I got yeah. Renfell up once. Right. Thok, yeah, you, Thok you would have been insta killed, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man, that critical hit! I was like, "Oh I... no! Oh no!" That was thanks insane for watching, guys. Damage. I holy shit.